Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, Stalas. Hope he's having a good day. Mind is absolutely scolding freaking summer day. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. So pretty much the deal with today is we're gonna What's the word I'm looking for? We're going to be dismantling the castle. Did make the town better. Just two things, just... There we go. Alright, I'm good to go. Just plug my phone in so I didn't run out of battery. Oh yeah, I also know, know see when I watched back about the stream the other day. The volume was about... The music was... You know, like, way too freaking loud. Still. So I'm gonna put that down just a bit more. Bring the sound effects down as well. Yeah. If there's any issue with that, guys, just let me know in the future, alright? <sighs> Got all my water just kicking about there. So I may as well just dump what we've got right now. Wait, no, 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 not that chest. Alright, what can we not, what can, what can we afford to not take with us? Probably chop that, chop that. Chop that, chop that, chop that. Good. Tape up. Jeez, that's a lot of food I've got on me. Probably fine, I think. Yeah. I think it was a blue one for the. Are we doing terms of clubs? I think we only have one on us. Let's see equipment. Oh no 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 no! I've got get four. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I must have got ready for this last thing before it came off. That's good. Oh, let's go to night. Yeah, I should probably go to sleep first. Here we go. I right, so see where we're doing this. I should probably check my battery and my controller. Let's see. That's not the best. Probably should plug that in as well. Before we head off and do the castle. But I'm going for, I don't I don't recall physics being a thing in this game. You know, in terms of like buildings collapsing, which is a bit sad. So I think we're gonna have to go from top to bottom in the castle to get it, you know, fully collapsed. Alright, I think it was from this direction, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. We headed over here and then we just went off off the side of the hill, I think. Wasn't it? Yeah. What was the controls again? Shit! Ah. Uh, why does square have to be used in triangle attack? Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? left. Hmm. Have to stockpile that, I suppose. I recall that wasn't there like a wee base nearby as well that we could take advantage of. Shit. Oh, that's good. The the slimes can't eat. The blue slimes can't hurt us anymore because of uh, armor. Huh. Right. Might as well just forage for some additional foods. Yeah. It's really easy to forget that you still need to get food. Just get these. This will be useful for healing later. Ah, 
the music is just so nice, and this is just so calming. Well, there's a reason for that, it's supposed to be like the starting area of these games, you know, the easy, like, calm town area. <laughs> Which isn't so much the case now because, you know, the enemies. Huh. Alright, did I come the wrong way? Ah, bastard. That's unfortunate. Sometime I can do without wasting. I kind of figured that it was down here because I thought we met the knight and then the the, the guard just showed us where the castle was. I must be completely wrong with that. I'm gonna have to make use of that marker later on so we can put a a thing we done in it so we we know where to go. Can I just shimmy shimmy over here and just? Yeah. So thinking of that, we should probably get some of this. Nah. Uh, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Focus in the castle. What is this? <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Mm, this looks good. There's no reason to see no to more like copper and silver. It looks like that's the reason that cave was there. Alright, now that we're over here, let's see if we can get back up this hill. Hey, Mr. Scaly. Bye bye, Mr. Scaly. Silver. I feel like I should probably stop here on some silver while I'm, you know, just roaming around. Hey bud, can you shot him? I don't know if that's getting picked up in the mic or not. I may have my windows open because it's that freaking hot. It was definitely in this direction, I remember this. We went down here, then we went to that wee hut. And then from there we we climbed up, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the right way to go. Grab some mushrooms on the way. Don't know about bad day, I was, I've never been a massive fan of mushrooms. Never really been into them. for a wee sleep. Nice. Then we just climb up the side of the hill. Now we should hopefully be just about there. Unless I'm completely wrong and it was in the... No, it wouldn't have been the desert. Yeah, so it must be around here. The castle. Yeah, there we go. There's the route we took. Huh. Alright, we get over here. And is it, yeah, the wheat farm, yeah, I remember now. Just take a bit of damage, drop down. Good. Right, I don't see any issues around here. Oh! Ah, right, this is. Yeah, you, f you find a lot of this when you're going around. There's like wheat puzzles where you can get like wheat benefits in like the free roam version of the game. Like, see if you did challenges during each of the chapters. You can unlock stuff in in the the free mode afterwards. I'm not sure if free mode's the right one, but you know that the non-story related bit. You get stuff if you do the challenges. I'm not really that fast stuff. I've done that shit before, and I can't be bored doing that again. It's like wee puzzles. It's usually a lot of wee puzzles and things. I'm not really feeling it right now, so I'm just gonna stick with the building shit. There it is. Oh fuck, this is gonna be a hell of a job. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you know, I probably, probably thinks maybe I should have brought some. 
got like some like crafting table or something along with me so I could like just have like a wee base just hunkered down next to the castle and just taking it down bit by bit that may have been an idea but I'm not heading all the way back now so what does make do? Holy fuck. Like, see if we can actually demolish, like, most of this castle. The town is gonna look great. Like, super great. Can't wait. I don't think there was any, like... There, was, there isn't any crafting bits around here, is there? Fuck all. Did we not use one for that? I don't think we did. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Jesus, this is a nice castle. See if we could just rework this castle into like a new base. We probably could if we wanted to. Let's start off with this. Thanks. Can I just, can I just like, yeah, we can. Yes! I should probably not start by doing this. Yeah, I, th I feel like coming for the top down is, prob is probably the best call, because it's going to get to a point where some bits we can't reach up to. So if we just make our way up to the top of the castle, just keep coming down, because I want to get like the roof slats and things like that. For the roofs of the houses. I don't want any missing any of them. Oh, and the, the candelabras. That would be a good, good, well, not thing, but. See if we can actually get this put together. This town, the town is gonna look great. And that means I don't have to craft me all these materials. So, so it's a win win. Alright, so let's start off. That's probably the best bet. Any supplies don't pick up, I'll just record them so I can grab that later. Right. We're gonna have so many bricks, but so many like stone, stone bricks by the end of this. It's gonna be so good. Get this corner finished first. I want to like make it all level and then just walk there. Because you know, as you see, these one, these bits are sticking up, so just bring these ones down first, and that gets this bit level. No, and mm. I saw looking at this. I should probably take care of the roof first, now. I honestly wish there was more room parts there, I think I might end up lacking by the end of this. I don't, think we'll, I don't know if I'll have enough for the actual houses. Have to be really careful here. I don't want to do this in such a way where I'm going to end up falling through the roof or something. If I, I'm, ge I'm guessing if I just chip these away, it's just gonna make a hole here. Yeah. Okay. I hope they all stay there. If they don't, I'm gonna be bummed. Just see, just in the off chance, let's head, let's head down and grab them for the ground floor. Just in, just in case. Right. 
Why does it have to get dark? Fuck me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a wee quick check. Do we, do we have to have any, any like crafting tables in our storage? Oh, we do. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 This is, this is good. This is very, very good. Yeah, this is gonna make this so much easier. So we're just gonna just, just gonna work with us, work with us. Gonna make this get fucked. Don't get fucked. Alright, let me make like a wee room here. Fuck off! Buddy, I'm trying to get to work here, fuck off. We need to be fast here. Put that away, take that out, good. Alright, that's that, put that there. Alright. We need to seal up, seal up this bit into like a wee room. Gonna be my workstation while we're here. Right, is that sealed in? Nope, almost. There. Now we just need to build a bed real fast. Build a torch. Good. And where's the bed? There it is. Alright, that's perfect. Alright. Let's put the bed down there and put a light there. Oh, missed a bit. Missed a bit. not count as a, as a room. Is it too small? Whatever. As long as it... It's because it's not acknowledged as a room. I probably need a door. It's probably part of the issue. This is ideal. Alright, now we have our wee workstation where we can go to sleep during the day. Well, during the night, I mean. We can also craft some things. Alright, so let's see this. Let's put some of this away. I'll put like the non essential stuff away real fast. Right, let's just. Tidy that up, there we go. Get some food. Probably make a campfire. A campfire probably wouldn't have gone this year. What do we need? Broken branch, we don't have any. Do we not have any in storage? Yeah, we do. Alright, that should be enough. There we go. Put that together and then just slap that down there. Why am I doing that? You kinda cook now. <laughs> Why did that bother me for that? Whatever. It's, it's made me nice, so whatever. Alright, let's get back to this one. one. The days are like super short in this, like it's unbelievable like, how, sh how, uh, how fucking short they are in this. Right. Hmm, 
yeah, I definitely think the best best thing to do right now would be to just work and dismantle on the the top bit. Yeah. Do you know maybe a maybe a call here yeah, maybe? See if we just fill in like the gaps in the the roof with dirt. And we use that as a, like a staging point to like knock all the materials off and all the materials get replaced by dirt. That could work, because that would mean that all the materials would fall into that and I wouldn't really risk falling because I'll just fall into the dirt that we've put in place. But it's gonna take a shit ton of dirt though, that's the that's the only issue. Hmm. But honestly it's better than missing any like materials, so. <laughs> I'm gonna end up replacing this with a freaking duck castle at the end of this. Shit. See after see after doing this, I think I'm a wee I'm a lot more hopeful that we're gonna get enough supplies for our houses once this is finished. this game had multiplayer. Can you imagine actually doing this with multiple people? Alright, making some solid progress now. It's about half of the roof finish, I think. Gets put down so all the materials can get caught. There we go. I've, I'm definitely feeling that dismantling this castle is going to take like the full stream, I feel. <laughs> but I don't really mind that much. <laughs> yeah, I think my prediction is going to end up turning into a dark castle is writing the money. <laughs> I really do wish physics was a part of this. If there was physics then all the materials would just fall to the ground without me having to do it. Physics ain't a thing in this game, unfortunately. It should make my job here a lot easier. Fuck! Ugh, oh, damn it. Any chance I have any healing items on me? Oh no, that was right. We had an issue because we didn't have any healing items, eh? That's a problem. That's not bad. We've got a wee solid base we can work off of, so... some healing because <laughs> yeah if I fall again I'm gonna die Too bad. 
Alright, healing cream. That's exactly what we need. Okay, and some medicinal herbs. Alright, we should be good for the next wee while now. Okay. How are we doing in the supply front anyway? How much have we gotten off of that? Alright, so it's 50 51 roof tailing. 32 of that. We still need a lot of outer roof outer corner tailing. Not bad, not even castle walls. Wait, what do you mean I can't store anymore? Yeah, just put it in there. <laughs> Alright. I really do hope we don't end up filling up the storage, because that, that would be really bad. <laughs> Alright, it's getting dark, so we'll probably go to sleep. Sleep in it. Ooh, that's just a blue slime. I thought I saw a silver slime there. Alright, that's the first day of demolition finished. Alright, let's keep this train going. Judging by the supplies we've already gotten, I have a feeling we probably won't even need anywhere near the full castle. But I'd like to at least get all the roof tailings off. That way all the houses can look nice with the new roofing from the castle. Alright, gonna have to be careful with this. Yeah, I think I might have been in the money with the idea of just putting wood, not wood, um, dirt all the way across because the chances of falling here are so freaking high. Let's see if I was to just do this. And this. Alright, this is this is risky. This is very risky. Yeah, that's very, very risky. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Drop. Yeah, I'm gonna go down and get myself shit tons of dirt and just fill in that roof. That way I'm not risking my health here. Unless... Actually, never mind. <laughs> Jesus, we've got more than enough dirt in the storage. That's, that's going to save plenty of time. Alright, so we're going to go... We're going to just put this all the way over the top. Then this entire roof is going to get dismantled. Imagine if builders in real life had to deal with this kind of shit. <laughs> They're like, Oh, you didn't place the TNT properly, so half the half the tower block is still floating in mid-air. <laughs> You just wouldn't be having it. I just probably need, need to take a food, food break now. There we go. I reckon as soon as see, see as soon as this middle bit is dealt with, I foresee the rest of the, the demolition going a lot easier because we don't have to worry about falling into a pit. Because the walls will be easy as pie to deal with because it's, it's literally just going to be, you know, falling back down to the bottom. Yeah, 
this is going to take a lot of time. <laughs> I probably should concentrate on the walls first, but I, I just want to get this middle bit finished. Fuck! Oh shit, I didn't realise I ran out of... I ran out of bricks there. Yeah, that's, that is the exact reason I want to get this finished. <laughs> that was near, that was, got done near half my health. Well, no, almost all the health. Do you know if I would break? I don't, do you know what I think I'll do? I think I'm going to fall one of the walls down to the base. And then that'll be a complete wall finished. Just to like just pass the time, I think. Well, unless you pass the time, we'll just take a wee break for that middle bit. So we put a wee hole in there and then just. Yeah, that's not too bad. See when I if I see see if we do one wall, one whole wall, and get rid of it, get all the tiles. I think that's probably going to be enough. For the base. There's, there's honestly no way in hell we're going to need the entire castle. There's not a chance. So I'm going to save me and uh, MD who who's watching this time, <laughs> and just. Just do one part of the castle, and that should probably be enough. I'm going to sleep now, they're, good. they're just going to knock me off the wall. I just know it. Do we have? 
just over 200. I might get some of those candelabras. Like, that would be a really nice like addition. I friend bought the fucking candelabra, well done. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Yes! There we go. Give me that banner. <laughs> See, in a sense, I'm being an absolute dick right now because I'm plundering the remains of like a lot of people's graves. <laughs> but I'm way past the point of giving a shit. To be honest with you, get to actually build my guy's room. <laughs> it's just gonna be all purple form and, and drapery and all that shit. Back to the do you know the the getting the roof tiles. I think it's probably the next essential thing. Can I be a great dick right now and just like put massive chunks <laughs> take massive chunks of the walls? Because now that I've decided not to take the whole castle, I might as well just just do this. I should speak to that, how are we doing in terms of I've still got two more hammers. Yeah, we're perfectly fine. Alright, I want that. Come on, give me a... Yes! Deck of shield. Alright, so we take this. Put this, put this down here. Because the game is not going to let me have this shit unless I, unless I do this. Come on, just put it, put it down. Come, there you go. Concerned about is the fact that the the tiles that like go at the corners. We're gonna need a few of them, but I don't think the castle has that many since the roof is you only get only get four corners, you know. So that may pose a problem.
Yeah, see once we get both all the corners dealt with, I think that'll be that'll be us fully ready to head back. It's such a waste to just like have a castle sitting here and just not plunder it. <laughs> Cause uh, there's a lot of good shit to be found in here. It looks like it's been sitting in disrepair for a long ass time. Of course it would be night again. Just we're getting close to finishing up. I wonder if we can get this finished before, like, fully, you know, fully forms. Oh, 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 Th this will work. Definitely enough. I think we can probably head back now. And see, that's just a proper success. Right, let's just head down, get one more sleep in, and then we can just. What the fuck? There's a lot of random bricks just sitting there. Wait, was that a bed I just seen there in the back? Oh, we'll be getting that. <sighs> yeah, there was definitely a bed in the back there. There it is. Swipe. Swiped. Swiped. Anything else worthwhile? I kinda like the look of these floors. <laughs> I feel like such a great robber right now, just just break out a rich person's long abandoned house and just, just <laughs> stealing the, the foundations. Take these stamps as well. You never have enough stamps. Come on, get done here. Get done. There we go. I think I'm missing much else. It took me a bit much to, to make the streets of the town, you know, like purple, make it look like a really regal town. I wonder if that'd be gone too far. Is there anything 
else worthwhile. I don't think there really is. I think that's... I see some banners, but... I think we probably have... I think we have enough banners. Fuck it. Banners. Right, perfect. Alright, so if I shove all this into the storage, how, how's it looking? Alright, so we've got a good bed, king size bed. We get some crates, we've got pots, we've got 99 foundation, we have more than that. We have got oof, <laughs> about 400 odd, just under 400, no actually just over 400 castle walls, 32 battlements, we've got some brazers, candelabrum, doors, cells. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good plunder. Ah, there's still some wee leftovers. Alright, just get that last last wee bit and then that'll be us set. Oh, fences! Oh, and when you know it, it's, it's the things I was looking for, the corners. I need for the houses. anymore. Castle. I was all set to like demolish the entire castle when I came on today, but looking at that, there's no way in hell we need all that and it would take forever. We should we just be stuffing the storage for no reason. Pause it real quick, just gonna talk. Be back in a in less than a minute.
Alright, that's me back, let's get to it. Eh, let's see. Let's check how, how the back of my control is doing. That's full. Alright, awesome. Alright, so I know where I'm starting here. So we're going to be improving this house. Just real quick. Get it fully made of brick. Wait, is that the wrong type of brick? The fuck? Oh, did that break not actually come from the... That break must not come from the castle. It's not a big a difference. So fuck it. Game, calm yourself. I'm finishing up here. Really, it's already night time. Jesus Christ. So we need to tie this up. I don't want to watch the full thing at one time. I want to just leave some parts yet remaining. Where's the foundations? Right, there's the foundations. Right, so we want to have the castle walls. And where's the battlements? Right. So we want to have the castle walls and the battlements just ready to go. Foundation, foundation, foundation. I should use the battlements, I don't think there's any point considering. You know. Fuck me. This is gonna take a bit. Because everything's made out of mud. We're also going to have to demolish a shit ton of... <laughs> We're going to have to, you know, demolish a shit ton of the buildings in the process. I don't know. No, 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 not the battlements. Hey, Shipopo. I've uh, been looking for a little while. Little Town looks to have improved. Yeah, it's getting really good. It should be getting really good, like, this stream, because... Because I swiped all the, all the materials from the... Well, not all the materials, a lot of the materials from the castle. So I'll be working from, the, from that point almost, just, like... Like improving the class of the town by a good good amount, hopefully. Creep kitchen's been dest destroyed. What the hell are you talking about? Game. All right, so she's got a <laughs> a partial stone wall now. What was this about monsters attacking the town? Ali, I don't see it. Probably go to sleep. Oi! Oh, fuck! You've got your own room. I mean, to be fair, I was demolishing it, so. This is going to be a hell of a project, I can tell already. Because I'm going to have to destroy the actual like, rooms as they are right now. To get this all up and running. Where, where, where was that door I had kicking about? I had like a really good door I had. There it is. That's perfect. 
Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Disregard that. Alright, uh, there you are. I see there's still a wee bit of mud. We're finally starting to come out of the Stone Age. Well, I say that, but... <laughs> we're still using stone, but we're coming out of the... The age where stone look shit. <laughs> it's probably the best way I can put it. We are, we are, we work with classy stone over here. Only the best. <laughs> yeah, so, let's see, what's the best way of working this? Right, so I can't float. Okay, so we need to seal this in. Just see when I first played through this game, I did not put this much effort in. I couldn't be asked. I don't know, it kind of feels nice to just be building. Just to make things look, look good. Just put this inside there so I can work. Parts for the for the roof. Perfect. You see, before I came on this today, I was actually playing. I was, I was going to say Theme Hospital, but I was playing uh, Two Point Hospital for a wee while. I forgot how fun that game could be. It's actually really good. Like, I think I get kind of sick of it because it was getting a bit, you know, stressful. But once you go away for a while and clear your mind, it's actually for fuck's sake. It's, it's pretty fun. Right, how do I actually fucking put it off? God damn it. Jesus, why can I not just rotate it while I've got it? Wait, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, okay. No, I can't. That's me changing parts. Ah, shit. God! Alright, so do I need to actually be around here to put this in? Fuck you! Alright. Maybe... There we are. There we are. Jeez, imagine if Riffin was this fidgety in real life. Oh, oh, that's a nice corner of our house right there. Alright, so we just need to get around here. Put this, put another corner in. Hopefully it agrees with me. Nope, of course not. Why would that? Alright. Got to angle this right. What angle does this fucking game want me to be standing at right now? And does it want me to run here? Oh, it does. Good. Finished. There it is. Ha! <laughs> Would you look at that? It's now, now a nice wee cottage. Alright, that's one house done. God knows how many left to go. And the floor is still... <laughs> the floor is still mud. I, I don't know if I should call my ass replacing that. Right, that's a private bathroom. 
finished. Not private bathroom, private bedroom. Oh, I need to change this. I keep getting these two things mixed up. I keep thinking the battlements are there. Things, the foundations. And foundations. Nice. A day's gonna come where I'm gonna have to replace this flooring with stone, but the, today is not that day. for that because that means I'm gonna have to pick everything up and put it back down again and I cannot be asked at least not currently Food situation is not is not good. Okay, some good stuff in here. Let's get that eaten. You look at this, and then you look at the rest of the town, and you can see how much improvement really is required. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Just by the time I go, we'll just go for a wee sleep, and we'll continue in the morning. houses but not I'm not gonna bother with it what do you call it the, the kitchen seems like a waste of time I should probably change whose room this is because this guy does not give a fuck about sleeping. He really doesn't. So I think, I think I'm gonna give this to somebody else because what's the point of giving this to somebody who can't be fucked with a sleep schedule? Right, let's take this off. There it is. Let's give this to the blacksmith because he's gonna need it. Right, what is the name of the blacksmith? Sheridan? Call Sheridan, buddy. Nah, Magnus. Alright, my mistake. Give me a second. I was thinking of that. Fuck, fuck this back wall. Serve as our wall for the outside of the city. So we're killing two pods with one stone here. <laughs> you gotta wonder where that expression came from. You know, killing two pods with one stone. <laughs> you just imagine the guy who coined it in the day being like, Oi, Greg, I'm bored. Give me that stone. 
<laughs> just, just launched it. A bird catches two at the same time. It's like, oh, wouldn't you know? That's that's killing two birds with one stone there. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, the wall needs. We need to get this wall in place. Where the fuck did the oh, there is? Yeah, this shit can't, this shit is should not be tolerated. The wall needs to come up sooner rather than later. But not before these houses get done. <laughs> Too close friends to spend some... Oh, ho, ho, I didn't realise that was a thing. Oh, no, that's interesting. <laughs> They're just going to be like, Oh, well well done. You invented a room that can be shared by two people. Wow, that's so fascinating. <laughs> well, too bad that it's getting removed. Fuck it. We don't need shared rooms. Well, we kind of do, but we don't need that kind of shared rooms. We're busy trying to fight for our lives here, you know. Trying to burn out paradise. I managed to get it for about five pounds. It's a pretty good deal. I always heard bad things about it because it's you know open world and you can't just like restart a race automatically. You have to actually like go back to sampling all that shit. Which yeah, it's pretty b bullshit that you have to do that. But I mean, I suppose it's okay for what I've played with it so far. You can't really snuff at the price. I think that's probably part of it. But it's, it's definitely no Bunlet Revenge. Bunlet Revenge was just too good. Too freaking good a game. And I'm not one for racing games either. But I freaking love Bunlet Revenge. I, th I think I actually got like 98% completion on it. That was before like trophies and achievements were. I should not tell why it would there was achievements. <laughs> But I didn't need it for them. Oh. Alright, so yeah. I'm gonna cave in the wall all around the town and then just build. Not battlements, fuck's sake. I'm gonna build a stone wall all the way around. This has got to. three. No, four proper stone buildings now. So I think the next order duty is probably building like a solid wall that can keep us protected. I think stone is probably the way to go for that. That's gonna do fuck all. So if we can get stone all the way around, then we 
and you'd be quite happy with that. I can't wait to see, see when I take the screenshot at the end of this episode and then see the difference between last week's, uh, well not last week's, well, pretty much last week's version of town and what it's going to be like at the end of today. That's going to be some change. I want to mention, I think you also level up, see if you like improve the quality of the materials that's used in your town. Your town levels up. I think, I can't remember what perks you get off it, but there's definitely perks that revolve around that. Right, so yeah, let's, let's just go all the way around here and just, just take down the mud wall. Maybe doing that's any favors. Right, so just do that and then just <laughs> So like that's the divide between the town and so this is where the town starts and this is just outside the town so So yeah the boundary is pretty pretty tight. Something. See that? See that bit there? The, the bit of the town that's pretty much just a ruin. We're gonna have to be doing some of that later because that's it's it's like living in a town and like just having the lofty buildings next door to you. It's not nice. I mean, fuck's sake, this isn't Detroit. <laughs> not not to rag on Detroit too much. I don't know how Detroit's getting on nowadays. Because you always hear about the fact that like 45% of the, the city is abandoned. So I wonder if it's still in that state nowadays or if it's getting better. Because I, I can't imagine a lot of people would, if they have the option, would opt to move to Detroit. Alright, so what'll be the next year? So we're gonna go for here, over. So we need to remove this wall here, then work for this. Fuck. Right, where's, where's the mallet? I'm still getting all the mallet kicking a bit. There we are. So this has almost done half the perimeter wall. I don't see much getting through this wall once it's finished. At least then we still have foundations left over. Jesus, I, pr I probably should have swiped more foundations for the castle. Didn't think we were going to need this much. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk around that. Maybe put down some battlements. I mean, it's the wrong placement, but it's, it's still, still freaking stone. Who cares? I mean, anything at this rate is gonna be a, a dot wall. making good progress here. We need to start replacing this part of the town with stone bit by bit. Just get this replaced real fast. 
not a massive. I'm not in a massive rush to replace this house. But at the very least I can replace the dot. Because I think just having dot at this point in, in the houses is just taking the piss. I've still got plenty of... I've still got shit tons of wool left over. I mean, I get the idea that, that this isn't really required, you know. But I still really like, you know, doing all this. I think it's pretty fun. Probably keep this open because I keep forgetting that you're supposed to have like an entrance into the town. What the fuck? Did you guys jump the wall? Okay, I'm gonna have to put some work into that. Hey, get out the guest house. You're no guest of mine. See, this is we get more defences, the better, because we're really, really not in the best of positions, currently. Alright, let's sit down. I think, see as, soon, see as soon as we finish the perimeter wall, I think I'll just have wee chats with the townspeople and see if they've got any ideas for anything new. Foundations, apart from no, we don't. I'm just, just checking. All right, so that's that finished. Let's get that sign out of there. So it was that. It was a, it was a sconce, wasn't it? Yeah. So just stick the sign on and just put a sconce up. Yeah. Back to normal. Then we get to demolish this place now. <laughs> Tell me, I know. I know that I'm destroying shit. Ah, there we go. That's the perimeter finished. I 
get to work on the roofs in just a bit. But as I said, let's talk to the townspeople first. Alright, so it looks like it's just Rolo. Hey Rolo! I've been talking with Sheridan, our resident traveling traveller and chef. He tells me that the land from the, which you rescued Magnus was once known as Dum, Dum Dara. He also tells me that a vast wealth, wealth of treasure is hidden within the Great Pyramid that stands there now. The Cantlin Chronicle mentions ancient fire-breathing statues called evil, evil, evil idols, and Sheridan assures me they form part of and once hoard. If we had those statues, we could build an even stronger stockade with which to defend our town. So go. For the sake of our town and its continued safety, travel to Damdara, enter its pyramid, and return with two evil idols. But make sure you are well prepared. It's said that evil idols are nigh indestructible. You must take the strongest weapon you can find if you mean to dislodge them. What would that be? I know we can build more stuff now, but I wanna. Oh, yeah, yeah, this'll be it. Sledgehammer. How the fuck did I get iron? Iron ingots. Oh, do we not have iron? Alright, oh, you can probably only find iron in, in the desert. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. So we need to head to the desert, get iron, come back, build sledgehammer, then, then head to the thing. Got you. But before that, yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna do some some renovations still. I get these buildings completely finished in stone. You can still work in there. I'm literally just renovating. Jesus. Is it that hard to freaking figure out? That's <laughs> right. that done. I just try and, try and demolish this shit without actually breaking everything done. See what it looks like with the roof on. <laughs> That's gonna be something. Shit, don't, don't. Fuck, I almost destroyed the forge there. <laughs> No, 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 no. 
So I just God. game fuck's sake. Let's see if I just took this. Did that. Right. I just took this. Do you mean not? Oh, it's because they're fucking scones. Right, so that's there. I take the scones. It's funny how a blacksmith's room is required to have a sconce to matter what. But I think that's maybe just lighting it needs. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah. That's pretty much all the buildings apart from the wee living quarters finished with stone. I hope Pippa's happy. She's the only one in here that actually has a house with a roof. <laughs> I don't know if I should... Yeah, I don't think I'll get there. The roof's finished right now. I think we'll head out to the desert, get some resources, and then do like the main mission just a bit more. Not to mention we're going to have to build more houses soon. Because we don't really have the room for more people at the moment. Literally. We don't literally don't have the rooms. I wonder if I should just... Yeah, I'm just going to cram a lot of this into the storage right now. Alright, let's get saving and then we'll head off. visiting one of my rel one of my uncles today. Well, uncle and auntie, I suppose. And like he's like really good with his hands. Like mechanically and that. So like he works with like diggers and like but uh, off topic. Pretty much he, he he's installed this this hot tub thing with like this covering and his back door and it looks absolutely fucking great. <laughs> like all by himself he didn't get like a construction crew or anything. So really Pretty awesome. It's amazing what you can actually do when you put your mind to, th to things. You know. It's just like a basic council, you know, like a normal council house. He's like upgraded that, like improved the, the back garden and like even the, the the front of the house. Now Really well done. Alright. Alright, so I'm looking for metal out here. Can't remember what kind. Was it iron? I think it was iron. I think I've, I think I've seen some up there. I think. Wait, we don't have any sand. Hey, we have we have sandstone there. Good. Yeah, let's try and get up there. What is this? There's a message written in a piece of paper. Turn me over. All right, turn the piece of paper over. There's something stuck to the other side. See the letter? Yes, more myself. <laughs> I guess there was a pot. Yeah, I don't see it up here. I think that must. The whole point of going up there was just to get the seed of life. Alright, there's the pyramid. Don't really. Can't really do it in there now, but. It's good to know it's there. 
Alright, this has got to be the iron. Yep. I need to get a bunch of that. some of that, then we'll build, like, full iron gear. So it's like, you know, the Warhammer, the iron Warhammer. Then we'll come back here and we'll pillage pyramid. Yo, I was noticing yesterday, like, the, the weather's actually starting to, like, make a turn, finally. Like, it was raining really heavily. I really do hope that's a, that's a sign that the weather's, you know, that the season's starting to turn. But we are still technically in the middle of the middle of uh, what do you call it, July, so I'm not really going to get my hopes up too much. Oof, that's plenty. for Isle of 40 or 50. But there's something really good in no, <laughs> it's not there's nothing in there. What about in here? Is that good in here? What is that? Is that loads of coal? This is looking good. Uh, have I got myself stuck? Oh fuck. It's a good thing I can place the dart, I'd be screwed right now. I need to say that, but I'm seeing a massive stock of it over there. <laughs> you have to make this quick, we don't have much time before the ghosts start coming out. See, see what I was trying to do yesterday? I was trying to... I was thinking maybe I'd start streaming like Final Fantasy XIV because I tried that a wee while back, couldn't get into it. But it seems to be doing quite well nowadays, so... I was thinking maybe I'd try it out again. But then see when I tried to log into... Log into it in my PlayStation... It was... What's the word for it? It said I had like the standard edition of the game, so it wouldn't, wouldn't it let me like download the trial and try it out. <sighs> I'm lucky if I got to like level 10 when I played it at one point. Didn't even do a subscription, I did like the free trial back then. But pretty much what I did was I tried to create a new account with my email address. But the game was like, oh you can't do that with this email address, so like I tried deleting my account. 
So like I deleted the Square Enix account associated with the email address, figuring that would free up the email address. But then what happened? I tried to log in. And it's still locked to that email address. It's, it's still locked to the account that's been deleted. I can't change the ID. When I try to when I try to go into the game. So I'm, I'm pretty much fucked. So I'd have to make a new PlayStation account. To like associate a new a new Square Enix account with it's kind of I get why they're doing it for security reasons, but it's such a massive pain in the ass. I, I cannot be fucked with that shit. I cannot be fucked with it. There's not much I can do, so I'm pretty much giving up and doing Final Fantasy XIV until I'm on PC again. <laughs> That's pretty much the only time I'm ever going to be back on to fourteen. It's a bit sad, but it's, you know, it's what it is what it is. Right, let's dump half this shit into the storage. Alright guys, what you got cooking? Dude, can you really go through food at a massive weight in this? Alright, so we've got iron now, so what can we do with this? We've we'll got glass, what can we do with glass? Ah, oh, dressing table. Do I have a dressing table? A window? Good. Oh wait, no, we didn't have a dressing table. Oh, oh can we can we upgrade? Can we upgrade that room with a dressing table? I'm kinda curious if that's a thing. Like see if I put a dressing table in there. I wonder if that would just straight up upgrade it. How much wood did that require? One more. Got that. Get the dressing table. I think that's going to be pr pretty good addition for this. I can just sh can just shove it in there. It did absolutely none. Maybe if we just maybe if we. I'm gonna try and put an additional stool in, maybe that'll do something. I feel like that's the thing. Let's see if we just put... Nah. There's something I'm missing on that. Yeah, let's try and burn the, burn the all this down. It's a good thing I grabbed some coal, isn't it? Alright, so we can actually make wooden doors now. And a shovel. They got plants to destroy them. Why would you do that? I suppose for decoration. Well, they made no armor. Yo, I think I may, I think I may end up extending this place because. Let's see. There's a lot of options to shit to add. Right, where is where is that shit? Is it do you make it in, in the forge? Alright, ornamental swords. Copper and wood. Alright, copper and wood. Right, so that's arm. Ornamental stones. Get that wood. Is that ornamental armor? Right. So let's put let's put this up. I don't know. Here. 
Put this. Maybe we'll put this. Are right, we putting that there? Is this supposed to go on a table or something? I can't. I can't fucking destroy it because my hammer's not good enough anymore. You're in the way, you bastard. Move. Yeah. See, that makes more sense. Yeah, I completely fucking bust it. Because, <laughs> of course. Move! Dumbasses. Can you get the fuck out of there? I'm putting shit down. That's looking better. No, I don't know why, but I remember. I think I remember a benefit to putting two sets of swords in here. I think it's, it's been ages since I played this, so I forget most of the recipe. But I swear, no, no, nothing. Must be misremember. Mis Is there anything else we can build that I forgot about? Nah, nothing I can see immediately. What if I should make a couple of doors? Making a few doors would definitely bump up the quality of the town a bit. Right, one more. Right, get that, just bust this door down. Yeah, game I know, fuck off. Right, there we are. See, he didn't even get a chance there. I 
we put in that compass stone? We're putting that in here, we're doing. Nope, fuck all. <laughs> oh! We got the base leveled up. At least that's something. So time's up a little four now, yeah. We're all decked out, let's head to the pyramid and get what we need. After we go to sleep. Actually, John what? Yeah, where's that bed? There it is. Yeah, fuck you guys, I'm I'm having a good bed. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah, but I am definitely going to need to make some more room in here for for people. That's, the, the living room arrangements are dire. <laughs> it's bad enough that the floor inside the buildings are grass and mud. But we can't be having that many people staying in the same building. When we get back to the pyramids, it's going to be getting dealt with. Oh, he's scoping. Do you want to piss off? What if I should take some of these? Yeah. Let's kill some of these bastards and get some food off them. Oh, ho, ho. oh you're, you're going down super fast this all, aren't you? Why the hell would a scorpion drop chains? A lot of things. Alright, bye bye. Alright, bye bye. Fuck you. <laughs> it barely did any damage there. This armor's too good. I don't think we're going to need much more iron, so I think, I think we've got the perfect amount of, amount of iron back there. Oh, we probably will need more later. Right. Because there's going to be more shit we're going to need to build. I had a fuck to get over there. I'm going to have to build my way over there. Oh wait, no, 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 can we just walk? Yeah, we can walk on it, All right. Hey guys, you drop in interesting. Stand still, would you? Oh, you hit, you hit pretty hard. Oh nice, so they actually physically drop iron. Which I guess makes a moniker sense concerning the fact that they are dead to an armor. And then we go. Let's get some sconces while we're here. Never see noted some good free sconces. Alright, one more for the road. Hmm, what do we have here? Nothing. 
<laughs> we have literally none. Now, yeah, what is down here then? I'm not liking the sound of that music. Oh! What do we have here? Oh! Nice! Footwear! Uh, superb of sturdy shoes constructed from orichalcum and protects against fall damage! Hell yeah! Freaking fall damage protection! That's good. That's really good shit. So what, what the hell is doing this corridor then? What is that? A fireplace? Why would the fireplace be in here of all places? <laughs> Do you think about the name fireplace like Talk about on the nose. Oh, it's a place where you can where there's fire. Oh, <laughs> well, no shit. Yeah, but a fireplace. Yeah, that sounds like it's gonna be real good. As soon as we build my house, it's getting that fireplace put in it. Right, back over the broadsword. What have we got up here? Oh, hello! Did I miss the party? What's, what's, what's happening? There's no response, she's single-mindedly focusing on her prayers. Oh, are they come. Oof! Okay. I'll be taking this shit, thank you very much. Oh, he's not mind. Swiped. And swiped. How dare you disturb our prayers. Do not think you will get away with this, human. Oh, fuck. Alright, can I kill you? Oh, fuck, no, I can't. Bye-bye. We're taking your evil idols with me now. And then... So long! Good luck catching me now. Jesus, no wonder they attacked the town. They're probably just pissed at me. <laughs> Buy my sign of belly. You've recovered the evil idols? Now that these fearsome statues are ours, we can build the steel stockade the Catelyn Chronicle describes. Hmm? Should we really be building such a showy structure, you ask? My boy, you've been talking with LaRouche and Magnus, I take it. You're worried that if we build a site back to its former glory, a certain massive monster won't take too kindly to it, am I right? Wahahaha! <laughs> Do you really believe that rubbish? Do not worry, my boy. With your building skills and my immense intellect, we have nothing to fear. Gantlin will soon be back to its bustling best, and there's not a thing that Horde Lord of the Monsters can do about it. Just leave everything to me. <laughs> oh, a, new, a battle. Did we not get a blueprint until after the battle? I guess not. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it must be after the battle we get it. Hello! By my mice by my immense intellect. Yeah again the monsters planning attacking against our home. Those beasts just won't learn their lesson. But by the strength of our defences and the might of our weapons, we shall drive them off. My boy, are you ready for a fight? Yep. Don't have to worry about the town too much, unless they go through the front door. Alright, come on. 
Yeah, yeah, this is definitely I'm getting revenge. Is he not get hot by the space? Oh, I did a bit. No, don't scut round. Don't be a cheater. Oi, going round the defences is cheating, you know. You're not supposed to be doing that. Where's, where's the rest of them? Was that? No, 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 still more. Alright. Go on. There we go. Freaking idiots. There we go. Perfect. This stockade is really handy. <laughs> no! Don't cheat! What's next? Shit. It would have to be doing this at night, wouldn't it? Right, just a bit more to go. There we are. So when are you guys gonna get upgrades for your weapons? See the life, good. All right, I'm just gonna go for a wee sleep, and then we'll continue that in the morning. Let's hear about this defense. It's a roll of. How'd I build this thing? Hmm. Have you noticed how the monsters have been attacking more aggressively lately? Well, I pissed them off, so. Not only do they arrive in greater numbers, but their troops are more powerful too. It really seems like they've caught the Dragon Lord's attention. We've caught the Dragon Lord's attention. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs like where we build up, where he builds up his army. We need to ready the strongest weapons and armor we can, and meet the Dragon Lord's forces head on. That's why we need to fit out a special room to store these arms, so that we can draw them out at a moment's notice. I know, if you put some ornamental armor and ornamental swords in the dressing room... Ah, so you put it in the dressing room, right, I was way off. We could use it as an armory. Please. Turn our dressing room into an armory. We need to be ready for battle at any time. Alright, that should be easy enough. Like, it's ri literally, like, right... I've already got that shit. is exactly how I imagined it. Thank you so much. Now we'll be able to equip ourselves with stronger weapons than ever before. But still, I can't help wondering. Why weren't Catelyn's guards able to keep the city safe? From what I've heard, 
There was even supposed to be a giant friendly golem guarding the town gates. And what's more, the city was very heavily fortified. Its walls should have been able to withstand almost any attack. For Catelyn to have fallen, they must have been attacked by an absolutely ov overwhelming army. Unless the attack came from within the city walls. Oh, sorry. I'm sure you have far more important things to do than listen to me whittering on. Thanks again. Alright, so what does the blacksmith want? Yeah. Seems like the rate of your city expanding got the monsters in a bit of a panic. The Dragon Lords had the whole of Alephgard by the short and curlies for hundreds of years now. This might be our chance to turn the, the tables. If you're going to clear that darkness from the sky, you're going to have to be quick about it. I reckon it's time you started preparing to take on the boss of the monsters. The secret of making a furnace, the ultimate smithy equipment, has been handed down in my family for generations. If we had one of them, we could smelt steel and shape it into f fiercely powerful weapons and armour. I'll show you how to build the thing, but the actual building I'll leave it up to you, alright? Furnace there is. Right, so yeah, we're gonna have to expand the. I think we're gonna definitely gonna have to expand out the the smithy. All right, get some of this stuff out of there. Get ourselves ready. Just I'll get this moved. Why can we put this on her? That wouldn't get in the way. Maybe shove it there. Yeah, yeah that's, that feels a bit more appropriate. Alright, right, this should be a good enough expansion to the smithy, I think. There is. All right, so all oh, right, right. So we need, we actually need the forge and the construction, right? Go ahead. If you didn't actually need to expand the the forge, yeah, I, d I didn't. <laughs> like it was pretty much the, the exact right size. Right, let's just, let's just. Yeah, I know this. I know it's gotten smaller. We didn't need it bigger than it was. Yo, I wonder if I'm ever gonna actually use <laughs> that part of the city. That's what I'm wondering. Like, I'm keeping it just sitting there, knowing that, thinking to myself that there's gonna be like a big project or something. But it's. <laughs> There's been no use for it at all. Alright, I don't think we need the stone walls out right now. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Blacksmith. Get the ball rolling. Nice work. Now we can make some properly tasty weapons. With a furnace you can smelt steel and steel weapons are are fiercely stronger than what you've been using so far. Just like the weapons they had back then. You've been to the castle out behind the Hammerhoods village, haven't you? Oh yeah, that's where most of this brickwork came from. I've heard that one of my ancestors holed up in, 
record himself up in that fortress after Catelyn fell. But the people living there turned on each other and started arguing amongst themselves. They all started to suspect one another of everything under the sun, and in the end they drew it, they drew their weapons. But what do you think the golem who was watching over them thought of all that then? I wouldn't be too surprised if he was still around here somewhere, watching over Catelyn even now. If it was him who destroyed this place, I can't help thinking he might have had a pretty good reason. But anyway, good work. Now go and make yourself some decent equipment, and teach some monsters not to mess with us. Why did I bother my ass making iron shit if literally I'm just just about to get just get a freaking upgrade? Oh yeah, fuck. She asked for a, a furnace. Uh, not a furnace. Um. Fuck. What was it? What was it again? Something they were cooking. Oh yeah, brick barbecue. That's what it was. Right, so we need to cook fire. Get that. Then build this. There we go. Isn't that what she asked for? Hi, I had it worth to come new recipes for me. I was talking to Shag about cooking all day. He knows a lot about those kind of things. He said that there's this place called Dam Dara and they also the Red Portal, where a super famous chef used to live. If you found him, he could teach you all kinds of amazing recipes. The kind of food I want to make is something that doesn't just fill you up. It makes you feel full of energy too. Alright, so we actually need to... We actually need to make... Is that... Is that, is that what she's talking about? Maybe a fruit salad? I feel like we've made a fruit salad before. I make all the things I can make. Milk. Where do we get bark beans again? I think. We probably need to get bark beans. I think there was some bark beans in, to the first portal. Because we did talk to the chef, I remember that, but. Was it the bark bean hanging at his shoulders? Quick, let's head back now. Should hopefully be enough. Because we did talk to the chef, so one of these things must be what she was, at, what she's talking about. Queen of mushrooms. Cream of mus mushroom soup. Alright. Like, I, I cannot honestly think of anything else. Like, we've made everything. Bread? Really? Could bread be what we're looking for here? Oh, right, right. Bunny bark. All right, all right. This will be it. G 
Jesus Christ. I'm gonna shut my limb here. It's gotta be this. It's not! It's just gonna be the regular one, isn't it? <sighs> Jeez, how much food am I- there we go. Wow! You've, you've invented a whole new type of food! What did you say it was called? A burger? What does it bark? And more importantly, can I have it? Yeah, there you go. I made a better one anyway. Yay! Thanks! I'll eat it later. I'm not very hungry right now. Oh, and by the way, I've invented an exciting new recipe too. First, you take a skeleton's skull, and fill it up with earth, and drag his tails and plumberries. Then you boil it in a sauce made from earth mixed with orange oil. I'm still working out the details, but I think it's nearly ready for Rolo to do a taste test. Poor guy. So, I made an absolute shit ton of food and I didn't have even have to. Might as well keep some of it on me. Alright, do you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to start, I can make replace some of the floors. I should replace the outside bits with the purple. I, maybe I should leave that for inside the house when I choose to do the inside the house. I think I'll just... yeah, I'm gonna make the floors. Just use the castle walls for the floors. This town is going to look completely different. It's still going to have the abandoned crappy looking bit, because I get a feeling that's going to be used for something else later, but besides that... I'm going to make sure there's like not a speck of dirt left in this town, if I can do anything about it. the monsters won't be able to even dig in to the town, we'll be completely safe. I have enough stone for this. Oops. Two minds about leaving just a bit of like grass, you know, so it's like a wee garden bit, but mm, I don't know.
if I was smart about this, I wonder if I could like cave down underneath the buildings and just replace all the the dirt. I wonder if I could do that. Yeah, let's get rid of all the on the mud. Shit. <laughs> we are actually starting to run out of brick. Fuck it, I think we, we don't actually get to that point. So monsters appear, who cares? Don't like the condemn. We've built an armory now anyway, so. They'll try and break down the walls and they can't do it. See when the see when the streets look, look better than the than the inside of the house. That, oh, what? Oh come on! How did you guys figure that out? Right, you're dead. If we had the portcullis, we'd be in a much better position, I feel. I still need to figure out how to build something like that. If you can even build something like that. I hope you can. That'd be good. Just a wee portcullis so, so you can choose who you let into the city. Breaking too much shit. Are we actually gonna have to go back to that fucking castle? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? It looks like we actually need to go back there to get more walls. I was thinking we had enough when we left. Street, and then we'll. I think I might just redesign this dorm. Maybe turn it into my own bedroom, my own room, maybe. From for me, alone. Yeah, I think we might we might just do that. Afraid of lives when they come back and realize they can't get into their house. Well, the, not their house, but you know, you know what I mean. The accommodation. Yep, 
fuck this sign. It ain't a dorm room anymore. It's mine. See, since we're doing this now, let's let's just tear this down. We can shock, fuck shock. Actually, yeah, that's a, that's an idea. Let's let's actually extend the room out further to the actual wall. Get to a point where we don't have any more wall to use. It's worrying. It's very worrying. Place the chalk entirely. Right, put the sign down, especially in my house. Where these can get to fuck. Right, get a sconce. Lay them up there. There's my bed. Put the bed there. Good. Right, what else? What else? Probably, probably put a couple of these in the corner. We put in a stool. Oh yeah, fireplace, I almost forgot about that. There it is. So 
the only bench I put in? Well, that, that's... I wonder if we can add that to my room. Dressing table. Just get a wee dressing table, just put that there and then just... Take the seat and just plop it in there. Oh yeah, the candelabras, eh? Good. Alright, that's enough of them. Get that. And there was, there was something else, wasn't there? there was something else could be picked up. I can't quite put my finger on it though. Yeah, it's not coming to me, I, I don't know. Oh, banners. That's why it's banners. No, it's too big, I mean. Bastard. We're gonna have to build. We're gonna have to build the outside of the house a bit higher up to get these put in. Yeah, and you had finally get a decent house after a while. There we go. There we go. Let's put these in the outside of my house. So you know this is my house. Decorative ones. Let's see, where, where can we put these? Let's we'll put them in. There you go, that's perfect. Shut them back in. And what can, we, what can I do with this? Shut that up there. Do I have anything else that looks like stone that we could, yeah, <laughs> we've got actual stone we can use, good. I'll just stick that in place of the... Yeah, that works, I suppose. Nice. That's my wee personal house finishing it up. Oh yeah, fuck, I've not got the sign, do I? Yeah, you're not getting my bed, you've got your own personal bed, fuck off. This is my nice bedroom. Why the fuck is she coming over here anyway? Is her bedroom not pers like personalised anymore? Did I fuck that up? Oh, I did? Fuck. Okay. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to need to make a sign for my room as well, so people don't start trying to sleep in my bed. Alright, so we need, we need some dye. That's easy enough to get. Alright, it's not in there. Yeah, I think we need to cook it. There it is. Right, take that over there, build a sign, and then that's me. Got my own personal house. 
Everybody else sleeps out in the street, but... You know, you have to look after yourself sometimes. Alright, just plot this on the wall, and then we're good as gold. A master bedroom. Perfect. Since we're mastering this bedroom, I noticed that she had this really nice seat in here. Mine now. Chic, chic chair. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah. Alright, it's the wrong way run. Right, I'm not gonna do this. Maybe I could, uh... Wait, no, I've, I've got it. Alright, get the die, shove it there. Shove that there. Put the chair there, perfect. And just plop this in there. There we go. Alright, so that's me settled. So I'm going to have to worry about everyone else's bedroom now, which is a bit of a problem, considering. Actually, see where we're at this? Nah, nah, fuck it, fuck it, I'm not wasting more time. Let's see what the other missions are, what we've got sitting around. Alright, so what do you want then? Hmm. <laughs> You've gone and done it again, haven't you? Build that furnace. How many times do I have to tell you? Should you keep this up? The monsters will bring the full force to bear on us. And I don't just mean any old monsters. Should my king grow too, too powerful, that ruinous beast will return to make short work of us all. In fact, I fear he may already be on his way. Do you think you could do me a favour? I've drawn up plans for a watchtower that will let us keep watch over a far, a far greater distance. I'd like you to, to build it just as I've designed. I'm sure that that's well within the abilities of a builder like you, but please hurry, you may not have much time. Alright, that's easy enough. I'm still very, very much confused though, because i seen them talking about an upgrade for this, but it's not been brought up again, which is very weird. Alright, so what do I need to do with this watchtower then? It's got to be a good spot that we can, we can put it in. Do you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll put stairs running up here. Going up here and then I'm going to build like a, a landing area up here and then put more houses on top of these houses. I think that'll be a, the way to go. They will only get to have like wee nice roofs like this, but you know needs must and all that that jazz. What do we have for flooring available? I wonder. It's gonna be something good. I don't want to be putting fucking dirt again. Hmm. I suppose I could use the castle tiles. I mean, it looks like a wee wee bit tacky, but it's it's built in dirt. back to the castle again. I am not going back to the castle again. Fuck that. Fuck, if I have to use sandstone, I suppose I'll use sandstone. Alright, All right, so we're going to have to seal up the top of this and then once that's done we'll just put another house directly on top of it. And then we'll find some way of connecting them up. Okay, 
Right, I'm not sure how many more rooms we need. I think we still need like three rooms <laughs> for everyone. I kind of knackered that because I, I built my own wee nice master bedroom. Alright. Sorry guys, this is going to be a bit cramped for you. Or Should I be nice here? Maybe I should be nice. God, fuck, I'm going to be nice. Alright guys, you can you only have to crouch when you get into your house. I hope you thank me later. Jeez, I, I can't believe I'm gonna have to go back to the castle in the next stream. <laughs> Jesus fuck, I thought taking down a wall would be enough. Put the door there. Then we just need to find a way out there. That doesn't look like utter shit. Well, I say that, but it kind of looks like chocolate already, so I'm not really in a position to really be judging. So we'll put the door there. And we'll put this door here. Right. And take the doors out. Right, so these will be the cheap housing. <laughs> Evidently. I mean, surely they can't complain. It's, it's they get live under a roof. They should be thankful. Jesus Christ! These days in this do not last long at all. How is how can how can it already be dusk dusk already? I've barely been working. You're, you're shitting me right now. I'm out of sandstone as well. Ah, there's more. Good. Jeez Christ. Honest to God, see when you're playing this, you think you have a lot of resources, but then... But then you actually start to use the resources and... Then you're just fucked. <laughs> One house, pretty much. The foundations are finished, more or less. I'm gonna have to go to sleep now. Stairs up here without getting tremendously in the way. <laughs> Maybe if I just do it like it, like this. I suppose this works. I'll do it. It's not exactly ideal, but it'll do. Right, they've got 
got our way up now. Perfect. Right. I find it kind of funny, though, that the people who are in the cheaper housing get the better view. <laughs> but the ones up above get everlasting shade. And they never get to see the sunlight again. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's break out the sconces. And, uh, what was the other thing? Alright, sconces, beds. Yeah, that's a bit of minimum, isn't it? I think. Did I not have any beds sitting about? I could have sworn I did. Yeah, that did. There we go. Right. Right. Light. Bed. Light. Bed. I thought there was something about a chest, wasn't there? I think I distinctly remember that. I think. No, 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 no. Uh, a pot would appear. A uh, pot. Where's the pot? Does she have a chest in there? I don't think she did. She definitely doesn't. Fuck. I see trying to have a fight with him through the wall. guys left to actually get a room. <sighs> oh fuck, we should, yeah, we should probably put a wee walk up there. Alright, put a sign there. No, 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 don't sleep. Losing much, but come on. Alright, so whose room would this be then? Marich. Sheridan. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms. It's my one over there. We need one more. For, you know, to be able to have a room for everyone here. Turn this bit into the watchtower. Let's see, let's have a wee look. Yeah, I think that's probably the best call, this one. Alright, so we legitimately do need earth for this one. Some 
fierce up there. Would you make the watchtower a dark? I suppose since it's not big on like making technological advances, maybe that's why. Left to go, just a brace on some ivy. Alright, we've got everything we need. Perfect. Brace up. Where's this go? It just goes there. I wonder if I should have put this, put this watchtower at like a higher perch, because it's pretty. <laughs> Pretty low. At least it feels like it is. This is a wee bit finicky. Can I just... No, I can't. Looks like we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. There we are. Oh, he's all impressed with my... <laughs> my dot tower. Ah, you finally finished the watchtower. I hope it wasn't too much trouble and that was easy as piss. What? Am I going to keep watch? I should think so. I want to be the first to know if that, that fiend were on its way. As Magnus told you how it, how it was the golem who used to guard Catelyn that ultimately struck, destroyed the, the city. If Catelyn and his people should rise again, the golem is sure to come back and finish the job. I've been told that story ever since I was a boy. Rollo told you that what he reads in the Catelyn Chronicle, did he not? The only way this land can truly be freed from the darkness is by defeating the monster who rules all, all the others. Make no mistake, this ruler is none other than Catelyn's former guardian, the gigantic golem. We don't know what it's going to when it's going to strike, but when it does, we humans won't stand a chance. Take it from me, you should be prepared to flee at any moment. See, see, just looking at the fact that this is here, and you know, looking at the rest of the city. If you got to say, I'm tempted to just level this, but I've got a feeling that they want you to use it. <laughs> look at the mess! It look at it. That's ridiculous. I mean, I can tell, like, this looks like a doorway here. This bit. Alright, so let's just shove that watchtower in there. Good. Put that back there. Alright, just pop that back in there. Put these in now, since we don't exactly need them right now. Hello. What's the matter? That's an awfully frowny face you're, you're wearing. Has our urge been filling your head with stories of doom and destruction again? Pay no attention to that grouchy gloom monger. You're not dead yet, my boy. And what's more, I've deciphered another chapter of the Catelyn Chronicle. It describes a staggeringly strong defensive structure that uses evil idols 
Those evil idols, you just you recovered. It's not as the steel stockade. I thought you already talked about this. And it will make our town nigh impossible for the monsters to breach. Here. Take this blueprint and build the steel stockade at the picks. Obviously you want to build it on the west side of the city. You might need to knock down the old defence defences to make space. I don't know how you'll build the steel doors that form the stocky centerpiece, but I'm sure you'll be able to work out something. And he just figured it out. There we go. Alright, let's figure out how to get this thing up and running. Take, take the new defences. Alright, let's get this set up. Yeah, so do just nicely. If we just line it up, just like yeah, and just take this down. Yep, that was just right. This is going to be good. <laughs> right, just put that there, and then just put these over here. When you know, that's the exact amount we needed there. Oh fuck, we still need a lot more. <laughs> I didn't realise it, it gets that much higher. My right, barricades, I don't think we, we've got any barricades on in stock. Right, we need more steel walls, we need the sconces, we've got sconces. Uh, we don't want to put the idols, so... Let's start off with the steel doors. That way we'll like at least have something to block out the enemies for the getting in. Alright, so six steel ingots. That should hopefully be easily, easily done. Alright, we know how to make steel broadsword now. Warhammer. And a shield. And a barricade, right. Nice, where's those steel doors? There we are. Now we can finally say that this, this city is properly concealed. Well, not concealed, but enclosed. There we go. Now nothing can get in. So what else we're gonna need? We're gonna need more walls. We're gonna need more spikes. We're gonna need barricades. So we need a bunch of this. I reckon probably around 40, 30 or 40. More stone walls. I'll try 30 for the moment. Where's that barricade we seen? There it is. 
Probably about 10, I think, for that. I think this barricade is going to prove to be a lot easier to build than that was originally expecting. Right, so we needed sconces as well. Break up the sconces. Where did I put those evil statues? There they are. Right, just plop these down here. Gonna have to hurry this up before night kicks off. Fuck, alright, alright, <laughs> we're going to have to continue that in a wee bit. Okay. Now we can say bye bye to the ghost and actually get this finished now. We need more space, I forgot about that. Alright, spike trap. Copper. You think it'd be iron of all things? It's weird that it's copper. Right, Ten should be enough. Yeah, people, I don't care, I'm busy. I'll try to protect us here, you know. The spikes finished. Right, so what's the next bit we need to do here? Right, so just put that there. Put that there. Good. This thing's going to be higher than the actual walls of the city. Do you said 30 was going to be enough? It definitely ain't. <laughs> right, just pop that on. <laughs> Some monsters. Good fucking luck. Try your best, assholes. Come on, is that the best you got? Come on, keep trying. I bet you'll beat through in a minute. Oh, what's that? You died? Oh, oh who could have foreseen that? <laughs> Alright, we need to make a bit more blocks. Get the path, fuck off! Alright. Now, where is it? There we are. Can be enough. Hopefully. It's not enough, it's pretty damn close. I just plop that in there, plop that in there. There we are. Is that. Oh, yeah, fuck the idols. I almost forgot about them. You're, you're, you're shitting me right now, aren't you? You're, you're, you're literally shitting me. Why isn't that fucking tedious? <sighs> See, this is so needless. There we go. Alright, time to just pointlessly fucking put these back on again. Right, that's that side finished. Nice. Alright, 
so let's go talk to Roland and see what he's got to say about this. Actually, before we do that, I've got... I think we might just spruce up the place a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Alright. And so just stick that next to the bench. Stick that down there. Stick that there. You have to have your sight looking nice, don't you? There we go. I mean, disregard the entire ghetto bit over there, but... When you don't take that into account, it's, it's looking pretty good. are starting to look quite good. Apart for these ones up here, but what can you do? I ran out of stone. <laughs> Alright, there you go guys. You can feel like your houses are, are good. <laughs> now, where the, what the fuck do I use these for? Maybe I can just plop them down here. Maybe the place looks a bit more... Fancy, I suppose. Oh, wait, 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 I know, I know. Where's those steps? Right there, we on both sides now. Oh, well. Almost. It almost matches. <laughs> there we are. That's better. these out. Do a bit more renovation. Definitely come out along there. Right, let's get to sleep now. Actually, let's let's have something for dinner. Then we can get to sleep. Right, let's make shit tons of mushrooms and a stick. There we are. Right, sleep time. In my fancy ass bedroom. By the end of this, so I will definitely be adding on roofs, if I can be asked. I've just not felt like it right now. I'll talk to this guy, and then once that's done, I'll, I'll, I'll consider putting roofs together. By my bold and beautiful brow, you've completed the steel stockade. Now our city is safe from any attack. Three cheers for... For you, hip hip. What? Is the stockade truly strong enough to keep the golem at bay? Don't you remember? The golem was on our side. It watched out over the people of Catlin and protected them from harm. I don't know what Lairish is trying to convince you of. But there's no way that gone would ever hurt us. Besides, it's unthinkable that a creature who once served mankind would become the leader of the monster's forces. 
There's simply no basis to this silly story of his. He's doing nothing but stirring up unrest. It's people like Lariush who hold back his city's progress, you know. May have to do something about him. But anyway, good work. Our new defences are second to none. <laughs> right. And now we can get to work on the roofs. So how are, we, how are we going to get about this? Right, let's use the sandstone. <sighs> Fuck, is this even going to work? No, look at this. This is a bit awkward. Two seconds. Ah, yeah, it's, it's working. It's just going to be a bit iffy trying to get it right. Jeez, this. fuck's sake. Yeah, there's definitely a good reason why I never bothered with roofing the first time. Because this is just. a pain in the ass. So let's just go along here and then we can put the just put it up like this. There we go, it's going nice it's going on nicely enough now. So I've had a lot of trouble with this before. I'm definitely worried about is we have very limited corners because we can actually, you know, we can actually get more corners unless we can build more. Maybe we'll build more. Have a look into that. How do I? There we are. I can just take this over a bit. As long as I can get a roof in my house, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't matter about the other buildings. <laughs> As long as we can get my house nice and just finished. Fuck. Alright. Back up we go. There we go. Just pop on there. Ah, uh, did I just put down some... Yeah, I did. You have to remember to put in all this... <laughs> take off those duck bits. So we're almost done here. I wonder if I should put like a wee side. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't work. What the, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Alright, that's a bit awkward. Oh wait, no, no, wait, I think I, I think I know what we can do now. I think. I don't, I don't know, I could be completely off base, but I'm gonna... Fuck off. Fuck off with that, come on. Come on. Just for fuck's sake. There. That's, uh, that's kind of awkward. 
Maybe if I just... Oh yeah, I've got it figured out, I've got it figured out. Uh, I think. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. I hope I've got it figured out. Yeah, game, I don't care. They can't get in. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that would work. We'll, we'll see once we actually put it together. Hopefully that's sufficient. Alright, so now that that's in place we just need to... Add the sandstone to support the... mid -air, my ass game, fuck off. It's not in mid -air. get fucked. Ah, fuck. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a dick. Be a dick then. Many problems game. Making good progress here. Fuck. Fucking night already. Holy shit, game. Your day and night cycle is ridiculous. Run out of sandstone, aren't I? <laughs> of course. I'm being way too good to myself in this game. This house is going to look so good once it's finished. Well, he has the quote unquote. Well, he's not, he's technically not the hero. They like to tell you that repeatedly, but. He is kind of the hero, in a sense. Alright, what should I use here? I'm not, I'm not using sand, fuck that. Sandy sandstone? I mean, it's gonna get covered up, so who gives a fuck? I think I can do anything about that. Let's have a look here. See if I was to just... I mean, it's okay. It's not great, but I think that's probably as good as we're going to get it. Alright, time to get rid of these supports. Fuck! Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright, that's the watchtower fixed. Where did my fucking banners go? Game, can you fuck off? Like... God damn it. I can't put the banners there anymore because the, the watchtower's in the way. Alright, come on, please don't knock it and knock us off now. My nice wee house is almost finished.
And see, even though I'm being a wee bit of a dick by having my house being the one that's the nicest, technically I'm being really courteous because <laughs> it's right next to where the danger is, where the enemy can come in the city. So I'm not doing I'm not doing anything bad here. <laughs> I'm just rewarding myself for being the guy who wants to be in the most danger. <laughs> At least that's how I'm spinning it. How do I can take this? Fuck. Ah, right. oh, that works. How the fuck did we not get attacked once during the night? That was lucky. Alright, pick up all that shit. Pick up all that shit. Ah, it's my nice wee hoose. Wait, did that replace my fucking sick? Oh, God damn it. Alright. My. There we go. Does that need to be there? Like, does that actually need to be there? Can I just... <sighs> God, I don't want to use the hammer. Just careful, careful now, careful now. Yes, right, he's walking. Yes, there we go. Time for that candelabra back up again. The fuck is that? Candelabra, there it is. Right, right there. Think about that, it's pretty dim over here, so. <laughs> ah, you kinda say I'm not good to myself. Everyone else has still got <laughs> mud floors and I'm running about with like marble flooring. How much do we have in terms of sandstone left? Pretty much fuck all, almost. I wonder if I can make this look a wee bit better. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that replaced by actual sandstone later on, either that or a, you know, brick. <laughs> I feel like brick is probably the way to go. <clears throat> you know how I said I was preserving this bit in here? Yeah, fuck that. It's ugly as sin and I am not standing for it anymore. If I need it later on, I'll just I'll just figure out how the rooms are gonna look. But yeah, this is just this just looks like shit. It's ruining what I'm trying to achieve with this this town here. That was easily, easily repealed. I 
Right, see, as long as we take down this wall over here, I think that's probably enough. There's a bunch of mud in that left over, but there we go, that's a lot better, isn't it? Looks like it's like an absolute garbage fire, the town. Nah. <laughs> that's a nice wee, wee empty spot over there to build on. I'm probably going to need later. <sighs> right. So, what's the next mission then? My boy! A city is growing by the day. Some sort of decisive battle with the monsters must be brewing, don't you think? Now that we've finished construction of the steel stockade, our defences are now impregnable. You're goddamn right. Did I just skip something there? Or are they? I must say, I'm not quite satisfied. Our fortifications could be a great deal stronger than they are now. Which brings me to my request. I think it's time you put a little bit more work into this. I just did! Fuck you! A few new rooms would be solely overdue addition to our town, my boy. We could also do with overhauling our defences to better fend off the monster's increasingly fierce assaults. I won't bore you with the particulars. You're the builder after all. Just improve our town however you see fit. You just noticed. By my flaring nostrils, marvellous work. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, did he... Did he have a brain fart there? Our city is growing even greater and so are you. Now listen closely, my boy, I have, I have big news. Within the Cantlin Chronicle, I found a dis description of the biggest and boldest defensive structure ever invented. It's called the Cantlin Shield. If that isn't a majestic and awe-inspiring name, I don't know what is. If we had one of those, we could protect our home against anything. It even goes so far as to say we could consider the reconstruction of Cantlin complete. However, while the Cantlin Chronicle describes the shield's function and appearance, the details on how to build it are sadly lacking. As it stands, we simply won't be able to make the thing. But there is still hope. I can offer you a few clues to its construction, but they're sure to stir some indigenous ideas in that builder's brain of yours. I know that one day, you will unravel the secret of how to build a Catlin shield. And we get a battle next. By my straining shoulders, the monsters are preparing another assault. As suspected, they see our town growing ever greater and become more daring and desperate in their attempts to stop it. However, we're not yet ready to take on their leader. We must drive these monsters back to buy some more time. My boy, are you ready for combat? Yeah, fucking hell yes. Come on, let's go. Yo, know I'm gonna be at brazen. And I'm just not going to go out there at all. I'm just going to sit back here and see the reaction. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> you call that an assault? I've had more salt for my dinner than what I'm getting right now. Jesus, that's pathetic. Well done. Well done. Nice try. Oh, you're supposed... You fucker, you damaged my defence! Oh, you little brick. But I'm gonna stand by my word, I'm not going... I'm not going anywhere. This is just gonna humil humiliate you even more. Even if you will fucking annoy the shit out of me by destroying all my fucking steel shit. Oh fuck! Jesus! 
All right, that was impressive. Still just about to die though, but it's impressive. You little prick, how dare you destroy my fucking articulation. I had it looking nice there and you destroyed it. I agreed to teleport, nice. Yeah guys, I don't care, I need to fix this, this shit up. The bastard broke this. There we go. I need to get all those spikes. Fuck off! Joe, yeah, that's the massive downside to the, the def these defences. They don't differentiate, they just keep... they attack you as well. Did I take spikes for the wrong place? Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll just build more spikes. Just to add. More spikes to bear. Right. I'll be with you in a second. I need to get some shit done. I had the nerve to d damage my trap. Disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Hey, Mr. Ghost, can you fuck off? I'm busy. Alright, bye bye. Bedtime. Has I seen a. See, think about it, we should probably... We should probably work in some steel armour and stuff. Alright. So let's just... Alright, so where's that portal? There it is. Wow guys, marvellous. I, I literally only put down that fucking thing on a pedestal. Wow. Wow, I'm so great on it. <laughs> so that platform's starting to look pretty good now. Alright, hello. Oh my, what is this wonderful place? It's so bright and warm. All accepting that cold look in your face, young man. Or perhaps not. Your face might be cold, but I can see the fire in your eyes. You want to know what I'm doing here this late in the day, don't you? There's no point in trying to deny it. I can read you like an open book. This place looks like the perfect city. Uh, it's a city? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, full of buildings and people in the light. But the truth is, everyone who lives here seems awfully anxious. Yeah, because I worried that life is going to get fucked. Personally, the only thing I feel is exhausting from walking all the way here. I hope you don't mind if I join you. My name is Sherry. I don't have any particular talents, but I'm a dab hand at being a woman of the world. A prostitute? <laughs> nah, nah. As if she probably means like an explorer or something. Oh fuck, I had a well. Jesus, I completely forgot about that. Alright guys, uh, let's see, where would a good point for a well be? There. Yeah, that seems a, like a good wee spot. Jesus, I'm not really making much use of the land, am I? Look at the fucking giant empty space. <laughs> let 
speaking of space, we're gonna need another house because you know, you got a new visitor moved in. I don't really have the materials right now. Oh, she got a new outfit, nice. Speaking of, speaking of shit, what the fuck have they been making in here? Holy fuck, a bathtub. When the fuck did they get bathtubs? What the hell is this? Equipment display stand? Jesus, you guys have been holding out on me. Let's get the shuff stuff shoved away. And we can see what we can do with it. I'll probably probably use that equipment display stand in just a minute. Don't know where the fuck I'm gonna put that bathtub though. Alright. I know exactly where, where I'm gonna use this next though. I need to get some of that shit replaced up there. And stone is exactly what I need for it. Alright, so first off... Bye bye, door. There we go, nice new door. Alright. What's the next step here? It's gonna, it's gonna be an absolute pain in the ass to get this replaced, but I'm gonna have to. I should have considered that when I actually fucking got this built. I probably shouldn't have gotten lazy. <laughs> if I didn't get lazy, I probably could have. I probably could have just used, you know, went out and got stone or something. make these houses semi-presentable. Fuck me, game. Come on. Don't be a bastard. Alright, so just pop that down there, pop that down there. Good, good, good. I mean, it's still gonna have a a sandstone floor, but at least it's technically you could say it's stone because you know it's fucking sandstone. So it's either the worst thing in the world. Gets to have proper stone walls as well. So I don't don't see why he'd complain. Game, can you fuck off? I know what I'm doing. Fuck off for that. And now that's in place we can go get the other, the other stone that's in storage. A chalk? Okay. I'll settle for chalk. It's built on fucking sandstone anyway. No, don't hit the floor. Right. Yeah, game, it's not destroyed. It's literally one block short. Fucking chill. Right. Get the sign there. Whose room is this anyway? Where's the Sheridan's? Is there Larry issues? Well, there's no, so.
Fuck off. Buddy, get the fuck out the way. Construction's underway. Do you not see? I wonder if there's an option in the settings to turn that shit off. Guess how many fucking times? Shared room mass. So I think I'll do this bit next. That way at least the outward appearance of this place looks... ...slightly better. See when I'm see when I'm destroying the house? I should just keep destroying it constantly and then only repair it once it's actually done. Because it just will not shut the fuck up. Alright, that's about as much as I can do for now. Definite improvement though. I finally get this shit replaced as well. Way better. What if I should put? I probably should put roofs on them, shouldn't I? Like that'd just be the cherry on top. Right, just before we sleep. Completely forgotten. <laughs> I picked up windows. Alright, come on, just hit, hit the middle one. There we go. Wrong fucking. Oh, god damn it. Wrong way game. Jesus Christ. There we are. Alright, time to do the same with the other side. Right. Yeah, buddy, your house is literally just about to get finished. Fuck off with that. So, do you know I've only just remembered that we've got zero fall damage now? <laughs> Fuck, I wish I'd remember that earlier. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much as good as we're going to get for the time being. Yeah. I, yeah, I was, I was planning on definitely putting roofs on them, but... 
I think I'll come back to that in a wee bit. I don't think right now is a brilliant time. We'll do a few more quests and we'll find out, you know, like, more stuff to build. Maybe we can actually build something here. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. I love how they call it a city. Like, this place couldn't be further from a freaking city. It's, it's barely even a village, if that. Equipment display stand. Let's just cram that into, into here. There we go. Then... Display a stone sword. Are you even better? Yeah, display the oak clump to like signify like how far we've came. Alright, bath. Should I put the bath in my room? That feels a bit off. I don't know. Fuck it. Yay! Right next to the window. I mean, it's, it's not ideal, but it's, it's hardly an ideal world. <laughs> Alright, so what's, uh, what's the next mission? Hey there. Wow, you did incredible jobs stopping all those monsters. No, I didn't. That was easy as fuck. And not only that, you found a new teleport too. Remarkable. Oh, and by the way, Larish told me what happened. It was the golem who crushed Camelon into dust. If that's the case, then there's no doubt about it. The monster that rules over these lands is the same golem that guarded Catlin. Do you know what, what this means? Yeah, we need to fight the golem. No shit. I can help. I can finally help. Oh, really? No. After all my years of wandering, I finally found a place where I can be of use. Once during my travels, I met an inventor who taught me how to build things called wrecking balls. You mean TNT? If the golem were to attack us, something as powerful as the wrecking ball would be absolutely invaluable. Let me teach you how to make them. I've never been able to build one myself, so I can't wait to see the, if they work. Alright, so pretty much just TNT. So how the fuck do we make these? Actually, John, it's a better question. Why have I not built fucking steel weapons yet? Alright, steel shield. Good. Any chance of a steel sword? Yep. Alright, there we go. Just about ready to get kitted out. Right, steel shield. Awesome hammer. And let's take off the stone sword. Steel broadsword. Good. Good. You can pretty dap on there. Right, now we need to figure out how the fuck to build these bombs. Drop bomb shard. I feel like I should know how you get them. You know what, we'll probably figure it when we go through the other portal, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my questions until we get through them. Let's go. Alright, so what is this? Alright, what is this? What is that material I'm seeing over there? Fuck off, game, really? Y you're telling me there's shit over there that's fu that's new and you're like, nah. It's ridiculous. Alright, what about if it... Fuck off, game. Ha! <laughs> How's it feel? Really? Really? Ah, fuck.
Oh, hello. Alright, that's how we get. It's not too hard. Just need to beat the fuck at the thing before it dies. See if we can find any more of that shit. The the yellow shit. Alright, don't see any. Alright guys, do you, do you mind coming over here real quick? Please come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Alright, can you stay still there? Just, just fuck off. Stay still. No, st stay still. Bastards. Hey. Hey. Chill. Why am I taking on more than one of these at the same fucking time? This is a bad idea. Nice, obsidian. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! None of the yellow shit though. I was kind of hoping there was going to be someone covered there. Right, either way, he needs this guy needs to die so we can get that that shit to make a bomb. Thank you. Jeez, we are not gonna be able to make a lot of bomb. Oh ho 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 there it is. How the fuck is he gonna get an explosion all the way up there? There's gotta be some closer to ground level, surely. That's how we look around. There's some high up there. It's about in the cave. There it is. Hey buddy, do you mind? Oh yes. Yeah, alright, you can get in here, good. Alright buddy, do you, mind, do you mind saving me some time and patience? Come on. Come on, blow up, blow up. Yes! Alright, come on, keep doing that. Alright, I'm just gonna chill over here, buddy. Uh, feel free to block whenever the fuck you feel like it, alright? Uh, are you fucking shitting me right now? Jesus fucking Christ, alright. So, w whatever we need for that, we don't have it right now. Good. Right. I feel like we should get more of the subsidian shit, though. Grab all these. Probably better off heading back after that. Maybe if we make that bomb, the guy will be like, Oh, I remembered this is how you destroy like yellow blocks or some such ish. And then that will get us forward. They say it's getting dark, and nighting this is a massive pain in the ass, so. Let's get the fuck out of this cave. I kinda wanna keep exploring, but at the same time, I don't wanna get fucking annoyed by these guys. Right, let's make a high grade explosive before going to bed. Oh, you're fucking shitting me. How, what do you mean we only have two? Alright, I'll get the other one in the next day, alright. Jesus. Fuck 
See, see if we have to get tons of those bombs. <laughs> that just sounds like a massive hassle. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Who wants to try me? Oi! That's not allowed to you. Oh wait, what is this? Alright, so that's what was missing for full plate armor. Yeah, that makes total sense. Because <laughs> we all know rabbits are the epitomum of protection in this day and age. They're pretty tough rabbits though, I'll give them that. Really? Really slimes you're gonna try me? <laughs> Good fucking luck. Alright, Mr. Rabbit, so I assume I'm gonna need a bunch of you, so you can just do me a favor and die now, alright? Alright, where are these rock fuckers? Hello ba hello you bastards. What if I was to say, make you guys fall into a hole, what would, what would happen then? Oh, I fucked myself. <laughs> this is not looking good for me right now. Then again. No, oh. We can make one explosive now. One. We also got fucked on a sand as well. For, if, for whatever reason, I ever need glass. <laughs> we feel like building up like a 20 story building of glass or something. Alright, so I've got enough for one explosive. I wonder if I should go and get some more. I mean, face, I probably should, you know. Alright, buddy. Prepare to meet your... Smasher? Alright, just, just, come on, just chill out. Just stay, st st stay still, asshole. I don't like this any more than you do, but fucking die. Yeah. So isn't that actually interesting down here? It just seems like corridors of rabbits, slimes and malicious rocks. I just feel like I'm gonna come at a dead end that second because I really do. <laughs> oh, buddy, you shouldn't be sleeping in a job. You should know that. Bad things can happen to people who sleep in the job. How the fuck did I get a crit there? Come on! Try and self destruct. No! Fucking. I can't believe a slime almost caused me to die there.
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing anything else around here, really. Just getting plenty of these and I think that'll be us. The only thing I'm really glad that they changed in the sequel is the fact in the sequel if you touch an enemy it doesn't actually hurt you. But in this if you so much as breathe the same air you you take good amount of damage. Actually what the fuck am I doing? I could just... Yeah it looks like I'm heading towards a dead end right now. I don't think there's... I think whoever designed this level got to this map and thought to themselves, ah, I can't be fucked. Just just do like sand corridors with, with mountains and outside, you know, yeah, yeah, they'll be fine with that. Because <laughs> there's fuck all here of interest. It's fucking barn. And don't even say to climb up the mountains, there's nothing up there either. Bomb time. How many can we make of this? Three. Three ain't bad, I suppose. <laughs> Did I say three? Alright, oh, so it's ten each, right. Thirty thirty TNT. Yeah, that's that's sparkable. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy with that. Hey bud, that's incredible, you made the wrecking balls just like I told you. I don't have the power to build, and neither did the man who invented them. Why would you invent something if you can't build? So nobody ever actually been able to build one until now. But I knew you could do it, you're a legendary builder after all. My friend, the golem is coming for us, I know it. If we defeat him, we'll bring back the lake to this land, but if we fail, Cantlin will be powdered into dust once again. I hope the Wrecking Ball will be of some help to you in that final battle. I pray to the Goddess that you emerge victorious. Oh, and by the way, they say that the Golems built like a brick outhouse. <laughs> you can't see shit house. If I were you, I'd build at least 20 Wrecking Balls before I even thought about take taking him on. Do we want about the game? At least it's nice enough to you know, prepare you for that kind of shit. And just shove all this in. What the fuck do I need that ruby shit for anyway? I was picking up expecting the game to be like, oh, you, you, you need this to build this particular thing, but no. It's been a witch. What was that armor? The full plate armor? Right, we need one bit of cord and that's it. What fuck do we make cord again? That's how it's pretty much fully carried out. Magnus, I don't care. Fucking get out of my way. Right. Full plate armor. Nice. Now <laughs> look at that. Ready to go. I hope I'm not just about to finish this level because we've still got so much left of the the city we can use to build on. I mean, if it turns out we can use all that, you know, rather liberally, I feel like I wasted my time on this, if that's the case.
Not to mention, we've still got to get up to level 5 with the city. Alright, people, or whatever the fuck your name is. People. Oh, hello. I don't know if you've noticed, but everyone's been acting really nervously re recently. Yeah, I've been told multiple times. I asked Rolo what was going on, and he told me a ginormous monster's about going to attack at any moment now. All I want to do is build a city where we can all live together in peace. So why did it have to end, like, end up like this? That monster that's going to attack us is really powerful, isn't it? Um, I know I shouldn't be bothering you at a time like this, but I'm really scared that somebody's going to get hurt. Which is why I was wondering, if, could you make some medical herb for me? Just five pouches? I think I have that kicking about. Please, if you do me this favour, I won't ask you for anything ever again, I promise. Ah fuck, I don't have enough. Wait, what the fuck? Huh. I'm actually short on med medical herbs. Where do we get med medical herbs typically? I know you get them in the bushes, but where the fuck were the bushes again? I don't think they were out here. Hmm. I feel they must be in the other portal. But the, not the green one, the... Actually, speaking of the green one, we should probably head through that, because I think... See with those bombs now? I think we can get that... That yellow mineral stuff. And if we can't get that yellow miracle stuff, I'm going to be pissed. Because... How the fuck else are you supposed to get it? Because nothing else can break... You know, break it. Honestly, see putting those ruby things down there, that's a massive dick move. Because how the fuck is... Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there we are. Alright, Calcum. Alright, now don't drown me, game. Alright, so that's 9. I wonder how much would be a decent amount to get. Maybe 20? 20 sounds like a decent amount. Alright. Alright, can you, can you just fuck off? I don't need these anymore. Alright, so it's gotta be... I think there's some around here somewhere. Near the sand, because... There was a reason I tried to get them to blow up that thing. It must be over here. Where the fuck is it? Oh! Yeah, where the fuck is it? Oh, there's some up there. For whatever, for whatever the hell you need it for, I can't imagine you need, need much yet. But, I kind of want to play it safe, you know. Alright, let's just... Down there, and out the way. Nice, we're up to 18. I'm gonna get 20 just to be in the safe side. I wonder to myself, is it Oracle come like, is that a... Like, I've heard it in fiction all the time, but I've never actually heard of it in real life, I wonder if it's just like a fictional mineral. Probably is. Can you fuck off? Can you- oh, honestly, can you fuck off? You're being a pain in the ass. You're in the way. Like, literally in the way. Get the fuck. Get the fuck, you piece of shit. Alright, 23, 23. I'll, s I'll settle for 23. Someone else had made had made something, but no. Can't 
be that hard to find. It's I think I think, I think there was plenty of it back in what portal was it again? Like the red red one? Oh, blue one. Probably the blue one. I get a feeling she's up to something. Why would you just send somebody out to to get herbs? Alright, so where is this? Alright, got green beans. I'm not really seeing any bushes over here. Could it be closer to the castle? Oh, there we are, there we are. Perfect. Exactly what we need. Alright, so that's one more. So that'll be... Are we how many in total? Three? Yep, three. So we just need... Like what? Four more? Yeah, I think we need four more, and then that's enough. Then we can back and we can figure out if she's just trying to stall us and she's fucked off somewhere. And then now, all right, there's one. Oh, two. Oh fuck, yes. Right, so two more bushes and that's us. I kinda wanna get more bushes though, cause you know, more healing items. It'd be kinda shit, you know, just to give her all the healing items and meal if we fuck all when it comes to the next proper fight. So I might just go look for more, more yet. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to head into the auctions and I'm going to see if there's even the slightest chance of changing the day-night cycle. Because it becomes night insanely quick in this. Spoils. Hold on a minute, is that? As you've got the pouches of med medicinal herb I asked for. So, can I have them? Oh, yeah, why the fuck do you think I went out and got them? Did I tell you the truth? I made two pouches myself. Does that make seven pouches and all? And they're all for you? Oh, thank you. What? If I was going to give them to you, why did I ask you to make them for me? Well, it's just that you've been so busy building rooms and furniture, and weapons for everyone else. You haven't been taking any, any time to look after yourself. So I just wanted you to make something to keep yourself healthy in the last big battle. Oh and, do you think you could build that Catlin shield thing Rollo was talking about too? No matter how horrible the monsters might be, I don't want to have to fight them. But on the other hand, it'd be so sad if the, mo if the town you got so hard to build for us just just got destroyed. So please, you've got to work out how to build that Catlin shield and protect our city. At least that's free camp, uh, free medical herbs. Oh, there we go, he's figured it out. Alright, so what does it involve? Gold mate, what the f <sighs> fuck? I know what gold mate is. Ah, <sighs> all right, this is gonna be annoying as fuck. We may have to go out and get more, more explosives. I'm gonna do a wee quick save here. I know exactly what we need, we need to do at this point, and it fucking sucks. Alright, let's just do a wee quick sleep.
Let's let's talk to Rolo see if he like has any inclin inclination as to what we need to do next. By my booming baritone, you've done it. You've unraveled the secret of the Catlin Shield. Now we can rebuild the legendary defense of the city of Catlin. We will be ready for even the most brutal of assaults. We have come so far together. Many a sleepless night have, have I spent struggling and often failing to decipher the Catlin Chronicle. But now our struggles are very nearly at the end. Go my boy and build the Catlin Shield. It is the biggest and boldest bulwark described in the Catlin Chronicle and will let us weather the coming storm. When you're ready I will tell you where the materials that go into building and, and to making a Catlin Shield can be found. Come and speak to me again when your loins are good and guarded. Alright. Time is finally- yeah, yeah I know. To build this barricade two vital materials are required. Plus is already calcum, already got it. Certainly you will need golemite. This can only be recovered from the shattered remains of stone golems. You can find such golems in Damdara Desert through the Red Portal. Now that our calcum nor golemite will be easy to obtain, both materials are now unbreakable. However, there's nothing a wrecking ball can't demolish. Alright, yeah, I thought as much. Ah. And do you know what's annoying about this part? The golemite is only a percentage chance to drop, it's not a guarantee. At least I don't recall it being. But it's just, a, it's a massive pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright golems, where are you? I need to blow your ass off. There you are. Alright, let's try and help him see if that does any damage. Nope. Alright, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. There we go. Nice. Right, the big one. It's the bi it's only the big ones that actually drop golem, mate. So we're gonna have to go around and hope we find another one. Which is probably not a good chance because they're pretty rare. Also, I think a best bet is probably just to hang about and wait for the that one to respawn. Plus side though, at least we got a... Alright, never mind. <laughs> That's three golem, mate. Alright, then. Yeah. That's, that sounds ready then. To build that shield. Do I see my first time through this game? I made a major mistake when it came to this. See those... See the Catlin shield? I actually was trying to make the entire outside wall of the town Catlin Shields. But you've seen how annoying it is to get those resources. <laughs> so like I got like what three shields far across the wall, the the perimeter. Before I looked up and it, it turns out what the game actually expects you to do is use the shield as like an actual shield where you like transport it around with you. You just deploy it where you need it. Let's get this thing built. Which is a lot more practical when you think about it, because actually making the entire outside wall these shields is just freaking overkill. See if we're just about to finish this this chapter. I have I have not made good use of this land. <laughs> By my radiant rosy cheeks, the Catlin shield is complete. At last we are safe. We have nothing to fear from those fearful creatures or monsters. All that remains is to defeat their leader, and we will be free to rebuild Catlin to its former glory. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. <laughs> Alright. What? You're afraid that building a shield may be the last straw that makes that makes the golem launch his attack? Huh? It seems Laro's bad joke has 
really affected your nerves. Boy, there's something important I need to explain to you. If our city is to truly prosper, we must be extremely selective about who we allow to live here. To put it bluntly, is someone going to is going to do nothing for our town but get in the way of our rebuilding work and spread malicious rumours? We'd be better off without them. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I want you to think very, very carefully about this. They be fair though, he did, he did like come up with a- Oh fuck. But, but, by my rattled nerves, what was that? It felt as if the whole ground started shaking. But, what in the world is happening to my beautiful city? Ah, uh, shit. Shit's happening, apparently. Alright, so what can we chop here? Let's take this up. Alright, so... What are we doing right now? Like... I don't see any quest markers. Is he trying- is he trying to get out of that- The blacksmith's room and failing badly? Uh... Uh, guys? Oh, there we are. <laughs> Fuck. I was, I was super fucking confused then. Alright, just do a wee quick save, then we'll go up and do the next battle. It may come as a surprise, but see the last battle of each chapter, it's hard as fucking balls. <laughs> like... Like, seriously fucking hard. In comparison to the rest of it, at least. <laughs> it seems the Day of Judgment is upon us. You felt the earth shake, didn't you? It can only mean that Catelyn's protector, the Golden Guardian, has awoken. Still, I doubt the Fiend will attack us straight away. No doubt he'll send his armies to soften us up first. Yeah, because that worked so well before. I don't know if you have what it takes to defeat them, but if you can't, this town is finished. It's the beginning of a final battle. Are you ready to face this fight? Sure. Why do you think that the Golem, who should have protected Catelyn, ended up turning against the place? <laughs> it's because it didn't. The Golem didn't destroy the city. It merely destroyed everyone who lived here. It wasn't malfunction, nor had it been tricked or taken over by the monsters. It annihilated the citizens of Catelyn in an attempt to protect the city itself. There is more to this story, and should we survive this battle, I'll tell it to you. But now it's time to drive these monsters back. I think somebody fucked up the program in that golem. <laughs> they probably should have told them that the city was the people. Alright, come on. If this is the best they've got, they're, they are so fucked. Because the walls of the city are nine petrol at this point. Like everyone inside is just pretty much gone about the same as usual. You wee bastard. Guys, don't open the door! Idiot. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, okay. Alright, phase two. Can I break the walls? Sorry to say. Right, what's up next? Yeah, 
you know what's the interesting aspect of like when the monsters actually attack? They are actually like a major threat to the city. They will actually come in and demolish all the buildings. It's like a nice wee touch there. So like this wall is helping a shit ton to prevent, to prevent that obviously. Alright so is this guy the leader? How much a leader if he comes in last? There we go. Wait, 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 there's still there's still more monsters? Ah. Some stragglers. Ah, that's easy peasy. There we go. Victory! So we've got another stage of the battle after this. Right, we'll go to sleep first, then we'll initiate the next step. Okay, if the next bit is what I think it is, it's definitely a lot tougher. Buddy, tell me what's next. Ah, he did well to drive off the monsters last attack, but the Gom's army won't be defeated that easily. It seems another horde of monsters is already fast approaching. What do you say? Are you ready to fend off the next wave? Yeah. So, why did the Gom destroy the people of Catlin, you ask? It's quite simple, really. The Gom began to see the humans as the greatest threat to the city. You've been to that ruined castle past the Hammerhoods village a few times, right? Let me tell you about the place. After the Dragon Lord cloaked the land in darkness, his armies assaulted Catelyn. With the last of their strength, the people of the city built that castle to serve as the last bastion against the monsters. They sealed, theself, they sealed themselves within the fortress and lived there in safety for quite some time, until they did the unthinkable. With their supplies dwindling, the people began to steal food from each other. And the vicious cycle of violence and retribution began. The castle's halls became the very picture of hell itself. It was at that moment that the golem descended upon the place. But forgive me, I've been idly chatting away as the monsters draw you ever closer. And now that they are almost upon us, good luck, we're all counting you. There was, a, there was another interesting aspect of this. See when I first, the first time around this, I actually built walls like this all around the city because I was kind of anticipating the monsters to like encircle the city and look for like a weak point. So like I put multiple spike traps all the way around the city and you don't even need to do that because they're always going to come for the same bit all the time. Like I wasted my time waiting. All right, this guy needs to go. He's destroying the. He's destroying the spikes. Good. 
was a lot faster than the first one. Right, let's chop this, get this. Then done all we quick save. Do you think this next bit's gonna be a tough bit? Right, get the fuck done for there, come on. Right, let's swap these over. Got to be swapping between them soon enough. Alright buddy. Admiral work in the battlefield. He made short work of the Gom's forces. Still, we may have won the battle, but we have not yet won the war. Another beastly battalion is fast approaching. Are you all set from, for another battle? The men and women who fled from the Dragon Lord's forces and took refuge within their castle turned upon each other in an ugly display of pointless bloodshed. On seeing this, the Gom no doubt came to understand that the greatest threat to the city, the city it was built to protect, was mankind itself. And now, mankind has risen once more. The walls and towers we have built upon these plains will not have gone unnoticed by the Gom's ever watchful eye. And no doubt it will reach the same conclusion as it did before. That in order to protect Catelyn, the humans who live here must be destroyed. Hmm? You ask why I remain here? Why did I not run the moment I learned the threat this city faced? Ha. <laughs> I knew full well the danger that hung over this place. From the very first moment I arrived here, it was always my intention to leave at the first opportunity. However, as I lived alongside you and Peeper, and all of Catelyn's other residents, I finally came to understand the true joy of living alongside one's fellow man. So please, I beg of you, drive back these monstrous hordes, defeat the Golem and protect our home, not just for our sakes, but for the whole of humankind. So this isn't the last fight just yet. Fuck, this just keeps going. Hey, come on. Is that the best you've got? Oh, this is pathetic. There's not much left here. <laughs> yeah, that's just curly. You're trying to get into the city and ignore me, are you? Good luck with that. more monsters to go. Hey, what's this? Right, just one more night, and then I think it's the boss after this. I think. Oh. 
Oh, he's fucked. <laughs> yeah, let's get some food while we're at it. Surely it's got to be the last. Yep, last fight after this. Last save. Now it's time for the last fight of the chapter. Last proper fight of the, last, the chapter, at least. Hello. Incredible work. You really gave those blighters what for. My boy, I realise it now. Or perhaps, deep down, I always knew it. The fiend that rules over the monsters of this land. It's not other than the same golem that watched over Canton. You're just figuring that out. I just can't bring myself to admit that creation intended to protect the people might instead turn against them. If you can slay this golem, the darkness will be dispelled and light will return to Canton. But before you accept this challenge, be sure you have prepared enough. Wrecking balls and Canton shields. One's enough. One, one Canton shield's enough. This is our last stand, the conflict that will decide whether Cantlin is a land of monsters or men. My boy, are you ready to face the final battle? I heard what Lurish told you. It seems I was wrong. Lurish and I both love this city. At times like these, I cannot help but recall the wise words of young Poopa. She has said it so often. It has become something of a Cantlin catchphrase. I just want to build a city where we can all live together in peace. I leave the rest up to you. Protect our city and let us all live in peace together once more. Alright, here we go. Boss time. Do you always rough about this boss fight? See everything you built outside the perimeter of your base it just gets completely just removed for the fight. So any defenses are anything just gone. So if I'd built the wall a bit further out, it would have been completely it would have completely vanished. Alright, here we go. Yes. Alright. I need to be quick. That is pivotal here. Alright. Yeah, I would have would have. Yeah, I could have done that better there. Yeah, so see the first time I did this, I didn't know that you were supposed to be carrying this about, so. The city pretty much got entirely demolished. Oh shit, 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 shit. Alright. Good. Alright. There we go. Am I just doing this wrong? The fuck? No, wait, wait, no, 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 I think I know what we need to do. Right. Fuck! No, 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 no. Oh, God! Alright, there we go. There we go. Yes! That's a good amount of damage right there. Shit, 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 fuck. Where is he? Fuck the back up! Is 
Is he just gonna keep jumping around until these guys are dead? Apparently so. Shit. 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 Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! Come on, come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yes! Come on. Yes, alright. Alright, run, 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 run. Come on. Whew. Fuck. Good. Alright. Let's go. Good. Come on. Yep, does he? What? Oh, fuck off, game. See if I don't end up having enough bombs for this, I'm gonna be pissed. Because that's just an instant fail. Buddy, play fair. That's not fair, come on. I can barely run that far, you know. I just almost fucking killed myself. Great. Good job, me. Alright, we need one more turn and that's him dead. I need somehow fucking beat this. Oh, fuck! You cheating bastard. Glad he doesn't actually attack the base while, while this is happening. What a bastard! Alright, come on, come on. Oh! Yes! Two left. Fuck off! Oh fuck, run, 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 run! There. Oh my god, that was too close. Right. Come on. Yes! Did I just... Fuck me! Ah, I was too overzealous to get him killed. Yeah, return it before the battle. Fuck off. Ah, I'm so I'm not happy about that one bit. One bit. That's ridiculous. I don't care. I want to kill this thing. Shut up. I can't believe I was going to kill myself. <sighs> At least we know we can do it now. <sighs> Alright buddy, are you going to chill and let me go outside the city so I can block your attack? Oh good there is. If you're going to do me a favour, please hit the the shield. Thank you. And hit the shield again.
I'll be honest, if you were to make your entire outside wall just these shields, this would be the easiest fucking boss fight ever. But the amount of resources that would take would be ridiculous. Alright. Now don't blow myself up now. Get the fuck out there! Yeah, good. Alright. Gotta bring his powers on. Oh, that's too far away. Fuck. No, 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 no. <sighs> Great. Great. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know, game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why is he being a dick? Thanks for this. Thanks for this, buddy. I don't get why he's been such a dick now, is it? Because I almost beat him before, is that why he's been a dick? I did, there was no chance I was even going to make it over there. Buddy, can you chill being a bastard for five seconds? Good. Alright, now he's on his knees. Bomb, 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 bomb. What? What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, what is enough? Are you shitting me? Are you literally shitting me? Okay. I'll take it. That makes shit a lot easier. <laughs> Don't fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck off. Why? Alright, stay there, stay there, stay there. Alright, now fucking die! Yes! Fuck you! <sighs> huh. Tosh talking. Ah, oh, it's the ancient emblem. Long lost marker, hero of, of legend. Alright, so what now? But it didn't take too much damage, I don't think. Maybe a wee bit. I mean, what? The worst we lost was a kitchen. Who fucking cares? It's just a kitchen. It's an easy one to repair as well. There we go. Good. Alright, what did you guys want to talk about? Oh. Actually, first off, let's, let's clean this, this thing. Steel. Easy peasy. And there is. Now what the fuck did I use that for? I'll probably tell me in a minute. Right, here we'll 
By my shiny white teeth, you did it. You slew the golem. The set of Catelyn is saved and it's all because of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Where did that rusty metal you're holding come from? It ain't rusty, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I caught you in a, a bullshit. Alright, could, could it be the legendary? Yeah, you can clearly see it is. By my soft and slender fingers, you've done it. You've restored the ancient... Was, was he about to tell me to go and, and clean that and I'll... Okay. I took initiative, I suppose. This should be all we need to dispense, uh, disperse the oppressive darkness that hangs over Catelyn. Quickly, go to your banner of hope and offer the emblem to the skies. Thanks for the herbs. Alright, let's do that then. Um, that just brought up the save menu. I dad, they're like, what? Oh, yours, right here. Alright, let's see this. The light returns to Catelyn. My child, you have done well. This land has been freed from the Dragon Lord's evil influence, and its people can now rebuild it by their own power. But do not forget, my child, there are so many other people in this world who still need your help. By my big round head, look, look! The sky, it's so bright, it's so big and blue. And beautiful! That night the people of Catelyn hold a banquet to celebrate the return of the light and to thank him for his heroic efforts. With the city still suffering from the recent monster attacks, the celebrations aren't exactly extravagant and the spread is only simple. But even so, the smile, smiles and the laughter last long into the night. Then morning comes. <laughs> so you're finally woken up, have you? I laughed so hard last night, I thought my sides might bust. Who would ever have thought Lorish had such a wicked sense of humour? And when I tried Peepa's cooking, well, I thank my lucky stars I survived the first spoonful. By the way, late last night I saw a strange pillar of light rise into the sky over the eastern mountains. I wouldn't be surprised if this were something interesting going on over there. Perhaps you might want to head over and take a look. Oh, of course. You don't have to go if you don't want to. I just thought you might be interested, that's all. What you do with yourself from now on is entirely up to you. Mm. Yeah, I think I've completely wasted this part of the <laughs> this part of the town, fuck. Yeah, there's, there's literally nothing to do with this. No, this bit. <laughs> Fuck me, I've got... Yeah. <laughs> I fucked it. Oh well. Oh well, what can you do? Do, 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 do? I'm trying to look for a good spot to take a picture like a before and after. Can I hang? You know. Hmm. This looks like a good wee spot. Just a wee screen grab of this. Alright, screenshot. There we go. Alright, let's go check out the light. Actually, beforehand, probably should save, you know. You never know. See, if I haven't hit this, this with boulder, it doesn't actually look that bad. Let's just stick him back in his rightful place. The wrong, the wrong way round, but fuck it, don't care. <laughs> right, quick save. 
Then we get to go check out that light. Jesus fuck. That's gonna bug me for ages. Massive fucking empty space. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the light. Well, considering the fact that this land is pretty much safe now, apart from the occasional monster, there's not much else I can do here. Guys, actually fighting me. Good luck with that. All right, let's go see what this light is. You're so peaceful now here. My child, the light you see before you is a portal to the next land you must free from the Dragon Lord's curse. The items, the knowledge and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light you will lose everything. But, my child, should it still be your will to rid this world of darkness, I bid you step into this swirling vortex without fear or regret. regret. And be safe in the knowledge that I do watch over you always. Alright, let's do it. There it goes. You sure you want to leave this town, this land behind and travel to the next island? Yeah. Now oh, roll. So, <clears throat> so, you're leaving us. I had a feeling this might happen. Could you not just stay a little longer to help us finish rebuilding Cantlin to its former glory? No, forget I said that. I was being selfish. My boy, you made me realise something. Restoring Cantlin to its former glory is not a matter of building walls and towers, but building bonds of true friendship below, uh, between our fellow townspeople. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it. No matter how grave the situation, I just can't make a speech as soppy as that. Go on, my boy. Step into the light. There are many places in this world that need your help far more than we do. Ah, I almost forgot something very important. There's something that people insisted I give you. Though you may lose everything else on your way through the portal, if you clutch this, cl this gift tight enough, I'm sure it'll make it to your destination. Farewell. May we meet again someday. <laughs> And away we go. And we get scored on our performance. See if one of the challenges was don't die, I'm going to be so pissed. Ah, oh, good. Within 20 days. Oh, come on game, that's fucking harsh. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to get the 10 to level 5. Ah, oh, well, what are you going to do? Alright, so next time we'll be doing chapter, we'll be starting chapter 2, Rimmelder. I quite enjoyed this chapter, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty dire, but it's fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching. It's a lot of fun today. Let's, actually, let's have a wee look at this, what is this? Can I, can I activate this? Wait, I can play it in online mode? You can build freely and share your creations with other players? Alright, I clicked into that but completely by accident now. I'll be honest, I've never actually went into this. Because I just can be asked. Alright. 
I mean, Sophoma says just in the air we can... Sharing stone specify the fact that forge a connection between you your land and those of fellow builders. When you place a sharing stone upon the ground it projects a sharing area before it. All that you have built within the area can be shared by other players. What's the point now? Can we just give you see over yonder are furnished with summing stones which can be used to summon other players' creations, alright? Some buildings at random or you can use Right, that's kinda that's kinda cool. You find the other instruction manual beside the stones, I bet you read it well. Right. That's interesting. Okay. Gladiatorium, what the fuck? I didn't say save, fuck off. I did exit out of here. Exit. Yeah, game, I didn't want to come in here, I misclicked, come on. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll call it for today there. We went a bit longer, oh fuck, a whole hour. Longer than scheduled. Alright guys, it was good today. Thanks for watching all that. Hopefully see you in a couple of days for... I was about to say Dragon Quest Builders, but... Uh, Persona 5 Royal. Royal. We're getting pretty far into that, so... I'll see you later. Bye.